All right, welcome and well met, my dear Wayfarers. Welcome to our stream right now. This is Final Fantasy XIV. Welcome to the Demiplane, and this is your very own, your very own Clockwork Wizard, Sigurd Kronosek, guiding you in for another story, another time to enjoy another fun game. <laughs> All right, and right now I'm already right straight into the uh game feed right at this moment i'm going to just going to see how everybody's doing how is everybody right at this very moment okay i'm just gonna let the uh movie play right in the background here <laughs> like to see everybody who's on at this point <laughs> oh hi angel yep my body's ready more final fantasy yeah just a while ago or it was more like last night for some of you. It was morning for me. We just witnessed Elk go through Final Fantasy VII like crazy. Like, oh boy. <laughs> That's intense. That is so intense. That was wonderful. Watching uh, Elk go through the thing and power it up for seven hours. That was fun. That was fun. Okay. But well, tonight, we're gonna, or today, or me tonight, <laughs> it's going to be Final Fantasy XIV now. And what you're witnessing... Uh, in case you missed the previous one, this is the part where we uh, witness what happened back in 1.0 or in the stories uh, in the story of the game. This is happening five years ago. The cinematic that you're seeing at this moment. So for everyone who's not familiar with the lore, this is what you're witnessing before you start the game, especially if you're doing free trial. But if not, and you want to see this, just go to the uh, menu and see where it is that's how you find out what's going on here now let's see if we should get in right now or we should wait for the others or let's just hop in here we go let's just go in <laughs> but anyway let's see if everybody's here everybody is enjoying themselves i, I take it oh and uh if in case it's getting too hot for everybody i suggest getting something cold to drink today And, uh, yeah. Hello, little Mooglet girl. <laughs> yes, they reference the, uh, uh, pre-Realm Reborn story. Oh, uh, well, in this case, this is actually the ending of A Realm Re uh, before the A Realm Reborn. This is when everything fa falls apart. That This is that scenario. So what you're witnessing here is the, uh, uh, that one specific moment when the world just suddenly ended. So what you're witnessing here is the seventh Umbral Calamity. Uh, you will be hearing more of this during A Realm Reborn. You might see more references of it. But yeah, that's exactly what you're witnessing here. But if you want to know the behind the scenes story of this, it's actually because they reset the whole system. They had to fix everything because 1.0 didn't go out as well as expected. Just to put it mildly. And change of directors, change of uh, everybody in the staff, and that's how we got this. So when everybody decided to shut the thing down, the in-story reason is Bahamut broke out of Dalamud, which is the moon that you witnessed earlier, and then started the whole thing by destroying the whole world, or in this case, the whole battlefield of Kartino. So the Kartino Flats is devastated like crazy. And then you see Bahamut just devastating everything with a beam spam of like mega flares and everything. Um, both the Guardian Empire and the Orzhen Alliance, they're also like running for their lives. And so much more. And every time I watch this uh, this footage, it keeps me hmm, keeps me in awe. Oh man, look at that! Oof. Okay, and one more thing I'm going to mention. Remember this old man. This is Louis Swa. We're gonna see his face again at some point. If not, you're gonna see his name mentioned by others. He's an important figure for this whole thing. And then you see all of the Scions as they all prepare. Basically, they're praying. 
and channeling the ether, and they have Luisua take care of everything. Tries to summon the twelve, which are the gods. And hey Elk! Good morning! I'm not sure. I think it's good afternoon or good morning. I think it's good morning for you. <laughs> yes, we're guiding more lore today. And I'm just doing a quick uh, quick um, shot, uh, you know, lightning round with this lore here by explaining what's happening on this movie. If in case you did it, if in case you missed like 1.0 or you're not you're not sure what exactly is going on, it's basically the end of the world. And you see everybody wa watching the whole world about to end and then he Louis Swan makes one last ditch effort to save everybody. Warps everybody out. And it's his final sacrifice. I will press start at this point. <laughs> that is the most... Yes, that was Bahamut. That's correct. Um, what you saw there, the dragon earlier, was Bahamut. So, let's get started. Last where we left off, we are... Hold on. One quick second here. There you go. Meet our hero. This is Sigurd. Well, at least our version of Sigurd in Eorzea. Uh, his class at this point is an Arcanist. I mean, that's the reason why he has a book. And you're going to see more of his movements later. Let's go. Let's try to get in. Oh, right now, we're just queuing in for a bunch of things. <laughs> Ooh. All right. And uh, judging from our format right now, I think I might have to adjust the uh, chat a bit. Let's see. What's a good spot for you to put this? I have a good idea of where to put you. Give me one second. I'm just gonna do a quick adjustment here. Or do you prefer this setup? I'm not sure. Let's see here. Did I just hear a cat? Yes. I just did. Alright. Let's try this. See if it works. Nope. That's a little too. Mm-hmm. Oh well. Just stay with this one for now. I'm still experimenting on a few features, so pardon me if there's some stuff that's blocking the screen. Okay, make sure everything is topsy turvy. Not not so topsy turvy. Anyway, here we are. Uh, last we left off, we just arrived in the island of Vilbrand. And we're currently in the uh in the region of Lanosia, or Lanosia, I'm not sure how you're going to pronounce that, but we're just calling it that. And just right there, uh, the over that city that you're overseeing from this view is Limsa Luminsa. As you would notice, it's a lot of um, uh, towers of white stone and such. They all jot out from the sea, because this is actually a... A seaside town. I'm not sure if it's best to describe it as a seaside town or whatnot, but it's basically that. And we're on a farm. This is the Summerford Farms. This is currently where we stopped. And we just helped someone by the name of Stalewern. Uh, we just helped him out with a particular job right now, which is basically investigating what's going on with the farm, checking on everybody else, especially all of his workers. And to see if there's anything that's going wrong. And so far, we just met one of the interesting uh, characters. In this case, in the form of Yishtola. Um, good question. So, little Mowgli girl asked, Does starting class affect where you spawn? The answer is yes. It does. Um, in this case... No, no, it's okay. Thanks for the questions, actually. I actually enjoy seeing all those questions, so feel free. So, about this question here, um, each class actually sends you to a different town, and usually end up in one of three towns. Uh, for our case, being the Arcanist, 
And also, if you choose Marauder, which is the Axe user, you will end up in Limsa Luminsa. Now, if you chose Thaumaturge, Pugilist, or Gladiator, you end up in Ulda. And then if you, add, if you went for Lancer, yeah, I think it was Lancer. Lancer, Archer, and Conjurer, you end up in Gridania. So you end up in either the Desert, which is Ulda, you end up by the sea, which is Limsa Luminsa, or you end up in a forest, which is Gridania. So take your pick on which one you want to do. But here's the good news. You can actually change your jobs later on in the story, later on in the game in the moment you uh, push further, which is a good thing about it. So you can basically try anything you want, but in terms of what you're going to start with, pick what you enjoy the most. And then the story just goes from there. In my case, I chose this one. And uh, I can see Elk here says, Very World of Warcraft, except that in that game, it's race it's by race instead of clash or job. <laughs> yeah, in in WoW, that's the case, I think. I heard that's the situation. If you're, if you're depending on your race, you end up in either the Alliance or the Horde or something like that. That's what I heard. I don't really play WoW, so <laughs> I can't say for certain. Anyway, let's bring out a friend here. Ladies and gentlemen, our best friend, Carby. Look at him. Look at this cute boy. Look at this cute boy. Squishy. Very squishy. This guy is going to be saving our butts for the rest of the game. He's going to be very instrumental. Okay, let's talk to Stalwern. So, what's up? Stalwern is, is up in arms as his hired hands are nowhere to be found. <laughs> Hi, Wei. And she said, racist love <laughs> Oh, and Zach's here. Hello, Zach. Sword Mage Zach. Racer, vroom, vroom. <laughs> so many fun ones. Oh, yeah. It is. Vroom, vroom, indeed. So let's find out what is making Steelburn a little worried. What's going on? Okay, pardon my voice acting here. This is going to be very terrible. <clears throat> that sea sloth Severin and his lot. Never around when there's work to be done. I'd sooner hire you for the sake of getting things done, but then the rapscallions would never learn. Round him up and uh, let him know that Steelworn would like a word. And don't take no for an answer. Hmm. Oh yeah. How's the sound, by the way? Can you hear the game audio? Or is my voice too loud or what? Uh, give me a rain check on that. I'm gonna test our settings here real quick just to make sure everything is top is good top side. I'm gonna adjust the audio. How's this? Uh, how's the game audio? Is it good? Too loud or too too much? Hey, checking, checking. This is good enough. Game audio is good. Okay. I think this will be a good a level. Putting it at 50. Earlier I had it set to 10 so I can still hear others from the outside, especially with my headset. But with the uh, audio right now, since it's just going to be us. Alright, good. Game audio is fine. Let's proceed. Okay. Now let's find out where everybody is. Looks like we got some stragglers. Do we? Stragglers or slackers? Let's find out. I think it's more slackers here. Carby! There's our Carby. Right there. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay. So. Start here in the front. Or let's check the back. Let's check the back. Funnily enough, it's already evening here, at least in Lanosia. Oh, a striking dome. Good place to practice your rotation here. Uh, we'll get to that next time. Not right now. We're still in our beginner set. <laughs> uh, where are the folks slacking? Oh, here we are. Found them. Oh, 
Okay. Come and look this Oh. What are they gonna do? Beat each other up or something? <laughs> work? Ha! Can't work when me hands are full lift in this mug. You know, I'd wager me last gill you'd never guess what I'm drinking. Swill water. Well, you're right about the swill part. I reckon it might be worth a day of doing stale insurance if it, uh, chores if it affords me a little taste of proper grog. Okay. He doesn't like to work. Or does he? He's more like he just wants to drink it all away rather than work. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. And more of them slacking off and drinking. Don't you wonder what they're drinking, actually? Ooh. Is that a turn? Chicken legs. No, I don't think that's chicken. Chobo legs, perhaps? I hope not. I forgot that certain meats here are different. Forgetting that particular detail. Just like in real life. Yep. Yep, Zach, you're right. Just like in real life, some people just prefer to slack off than work. <laughs> Sad. Hey, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's a lala. Small. <sighs> How am I supposed to work on an empty stomach? Go on, have a guess of what I had for breakfast. Let me guess. Breaded sticks? As May said, work accordingly to your wage. Yeah, that's so true. Sometimes you have to work according to your wage. But there's also a good case of like if you want to go and be uh, promoted or something, I think you might want to show you're reliable. But then again, some promotions end up with more responsibilities than more pay. I don't know why. That's to happen. And Sozai Rarzai is a great, uh, is a cute name. That's correct. <laughs> it's actually cute. Oh. One thing you should remember, if you want cute, if you want to play a Lalafell, think of something cute. A cute name would always carry the personality of a Lalafell. If you want to go a little more into in-character or in-lore in stuff, fun note about the Lalafell is they have repetitions in certain syllables in their names. Just a quick tidbit there. What? Gods? How did you know? It's my breath, ain't it? It probably smells as wooden as the food tasted. But I know why you're here. <sighs> I just as, as soon get some real food in me, but I ain't one to reject a summons from the captain. Ah, poor dude. He just ate wood. Well, just to let you know, breaded sticks and breadsticks are not exactly the same. That's for sure. Hmm down here. Eat. Eat. Okay. Oh, we got someone here. What's up? Axes were made for splitting skulls, not stumps. You know what I did with my sailing day with they did in my sailing days. Let me guess. Once on slaughter. Slaughter. You bet your beard I did, lad. Aye, those were the days. <sighs> I reckon now I'd have, I'll have to be satisfied taking my axes to the trees. Hmm, someone is itching for a fight. Funny thing that most of their pirates here are axe users. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. When the usual thought about pirates is like they use cutlasses and uh, knives, but I never thought they would use axes. Something unique. That is something unique. Wait, is there anyone down here? Okay, I'm guessing you're... Or you're on the other side. Ah, yeah, it's the other side. Nope. Way me down on the ground. Well, crap. Nope. <laughs> no path here. 
Guess we'll have to cross. It's a good path to cross. Okay. Quite either. Not here. Okay, that's a good spot. Let's try here. Hey, here's the other guy. So, Stalewind sent you? What do you reckon I should do that? I saw, saw your seeds to sow. Damn right. Didn't get where I'm uh, where I am by taking gruff from an old from any glorified gardeners, but I suppose I should I could see what he wants to get him off my back. <laughs> I was once an adventurer just like you. I took then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> oh, Angel, that is a classic line right there. <laughs> oh, and they just noted out. Oof, so painful walking around no ride. Yeah, at the moment we don't have any. We're gonna go man with we're gonna go walk. At the moment that's what we got. Maybe later. I think there's a chance we'll get a mount later. Makes things faster. But for now we just have to do this like manually. On foot. Just like every soldier. Or adventurer. Hi, I'm Severin. You're the old man's errand boy now? Tell my dear old captain not to wet his britches. I'll be along. Oh, and uh, just so we're clear, I don't care for landlubbers. Go find the chocobo you rode in on and ride on out. Oh. Oh, he's showing the attitude. Oof. Left foot, right foot, hack and thrust. <laughs> um, I, I only got a book. And a trusty carbuncle. I'm not sure if that would work, but I guess yeah. <laughs> I can whack him with a book. Why not? <laughs> then again, I could consider getting a blade. If I choose a different class later. We'll see. Alright, let's see how things are going here. Going back. And oh boy. Back in the farm. Okay, let me just double check something real quick on this Moogle. The letter's for me. Yep. It's for me. Here we go. Merchant. Let's just see if there's anything to... Oh! Something to repair. Everything's done here. Let's go up. Oh, there you go. They mentioned chocobos. Yes. And it's funny how chocobos are actually a thing here. Like, it's actually local. Not sure about everywhere else. Okay, back to Stalewind. Continue to impress, lad. All but seven are accounted for. It's no fault of yours, he squirmed out. I've let that worm wriggle through my fingers more times than I than I can count. But rest assured, the next time I see him, I'll put him squarely in the dirt, where all such worms belong. Ooh. Captain's pissed. Very pissed. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Still, when worries about his sack, worries his sack of oranges will not reach the Lathragan checkpoint as planned. Oh no. Pains me to say, but all the guild in the world can't buy loyalty. There are some, like you, who can be trusted. But then, there are others. Until now, I have no choice but to rely on that charlatan Severin, even though I am full aware he's been, do he's been doing shady deals behind my back. More than once, I have heard, uh, heard tell of improper trading with the goblins. I wouldn't be the least surprised if that were happening right now. Not a bell ago, a sack of oranges vanished, as did Severin. I want you to find and confront the bastard for me, Chronosect. I'm sure there's wrongdoing afoot, so be sure to doubt anything that comes out of his mouth. Cure it is doubt. Mm-hmm. Press X to doubt. 
Maybe so. Time to do some doubting. Interrogation time. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, this is going to be a long walk. Quite a long walk. Just in case. Do we see anything that can be wrecked? Let me consult real quick. Oh, we don't have recommendations yet. No, we can't do that yet. Oh, we got goblins. Stay away from now. I'm not causing any trouble. Some rats. I see some rats. Okay, I see a skirmish over there, but I'll leave them to their devices. That's their thing. It's not our concern yet. Some more rats here. And I see a... Ooh. I see a gubu. And there's Severin. There he is. Bloody hells. I'm up the straight without a paddle. There we go. Emotion, emoting time. Oh, no monster aggro so far. Um, there's a good reason why they don't aggro. Uh, if you notice the uh, icon next to their names, if you notice that it's kind of like blue and stuff, they're not exactly the type that would automatically aggro right away. They're still passive until you attack them. If the icon on their... Uh, on the, the icon beside their name is reddish. That's usually the one that aggros. Just keep that in mind. Now let's doubt. You're being sus. What's this now? Still weren't sent you for the oranges? Huh. So the old bugger had known you all this time. Heh. <laughs> what does it matter anyway? Listen. You're one of those goody-goody adventurer types, right? Go rescue me mates from those double dealing goblins. They're just over yonder by the bonfire. Give him a tap. Okay, mate. Let's give him a tap. Just to demonstrate what I what, what she meant by that. Here. So you notice that the monster is bluish, right? On the name? Now watch while I do this. That's the only time they start aggroing. And there. Gone. So if you want me to tap the big ones, that's kind of beyond me though. Level 12. Don't make the mistake of attacking this thing before, if in case the level is higher than you. Sometimes those things can pack a wallop, especially if you're a caster. That's not a good idea. You may want to kite that. So not today, but maybe later when we're filling up some... Um, Hunting logs. We're gonna be fighting some monsters that are most likely beyond our level at times. Okay, where are we going? So it's not that camp. There's a red zone here. Let's go there. There's time for everything. Ah, there it is. That's where they were. Double dealing goblins, huh? Oh, those four are here. Okay, here we go. Combat time. Time to blast. Oop. Okay, time to do some ruin. Spam it up like Eldritch Blast. And they're down. Though I'm not sure if that's Eldritch Blast or that's more like uh, Magic Missile. Let's find out next time. Anyway, let's ask them what's going on. Or rather, let's help them out. I owe you one. Would have gotten away myself if not for Severin shoving me aside. Oh. Oh no. He what? Okay, let me just gulp some water real quick here. Severin sent you? Ha! 
the way he flew out of here. I was sure he sold us down the river. Big guy just ran. Oh look, the cute Lala fell. Hey buddy. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. If you hadn't come, my dodo would have been cooked. Mmm. Cooked dodo. Wait. All this time you were scared and then the first thing that you think of is food? Really? Ah, why? <laughs> ah, sometimes people. But it's funny, they have dodo here. So which means that most likely be their source of um, fowl meat. Like uh, chicken meat when you think about it. But not exactly chicken, like bird meat. Interesting that they got that. You saved me mates, and for that I owe you. I suppose I should be ashamed I couldn't clean up my own mess. But I'm a pirate knows but a pirate knows no shame. I have no qualms about you going back on my word. I'm only giving you this sack because I like the cut of your jib. Take it to all scene. Send in my regards. Ah So we're the ones finishing the job. Mmm, yummy breadsticks. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Zack. Yummy breadsticks. So if in case you got some breadsticks there, free to share. Okay. So if you're playing this game, you would notice that there would be moments when you were going to interact with items. This is one of those instances. Sometimes you'll end up uh, triggering some scenes. Sometimes you'll trigger fights. But it just happens. Just, you just have to do what you have to do. Now, let's take it to the checkpoint. Oh, and uh, you might have noticed some interesting units of measurement in this world, in Eorzea. You might have seen the likes of bells earlier, which in this case, when someone refers to a bell like many bell of uh, like a two, uh, two bells ago or so, that means a bell is equivalent to an hour. Just to give you a heads up. What have we here? Delivery from Summerford Farms. And as scheduled? Ha! That's a first time for everything! Yes it is. Well, look at that. Not a, si not a single missing one either. Well, the only things not here are those bagmen. And I don't miss them one bit. Here. Here's Steelwind's, uh, Steelwind's payment in full. With you, I can trust it'll reach him. Okay, just did a good job. Nice, nice looking axe right there. They love their axes, don't they? Oh, it's gonna be morning. I don't see any sign of a... I don't see any sign of stars anywhere. It'll be morning soon. Oh wait, it's a lot of walking. Okay, never mind. This is too much walking. Let's warp. And we're back. Yeah, we can afford to warp, but we'll have to be careful because of how much gil it uses up. Right now, let me pull up the currency real quick. That's how much we have for the money. So we got 337 gil remaining. We had 400 earlier, but we used up 100, so we have to be careful in warping. We're gonna be stuck walking for a good while. Back in one piece. That's a relief. How did you fare? And here's the payment. Ah, this is what I was aiming for. Looks to be all what I owed, all right. Though, I'd be telling you false if I claimed I had not held out one more hope for Severn. I was even willing to overlook the skimming off the top. But to sell us all short in favor of those godforsaken goblins. <sighs> Do well to mind yourself around that two-gill cheat. 
If he leaves, if he, if he leave his own mate for dead, there's no telling what he'd do to you. Okay. Good to know. Mm, mm. To wear or not to wear a hood? That is the question. Well, why not? Let's wear one. And. Well, I don't know about you folks, but he looks sus this way. Wait, whoops. Ow. Hold up. Do we have anything in here? No, we don't. Not quite. Let's go back up. Ah, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That reminds me. Do we have anything for the arms? Oh, not that. What about that? Okay, we got some ring bands here. I think this could do it. As for pants, comparison. Oh. Not sure about the shoes part. Well, oh, all this fails. Sell that for a hundred gil. Nice jump, ten out of ten. <laughs> yep, he just did a flip around and then boom, all good. Let's fix that. I keep pressing the triangle button and I keep forgetting that I don't have that other feature yet. Oops. Anyway, what's the update? Let's ask this guy. Let's see what's up. Low maintenance. Gurkant uh, seeks fertile soil to improve the yields of his newly plowed fields. Hmm. Wonder what's up. Last. At this rate, the crops will never be ready for harvest. If only we had black loam. Just a bit could uh, send our stock soaring. I'll bet Rothwida knows where you'll find some. Perhaps you might pay her a visit in the orchard. Black Loam. I wonder what that is. I have a suspicion of what that is, but I think you can make a guess. You can hazard a guess at this point. You know what? That's perfect timing for the song. <laughs> this track. Whew. Nice. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Rotwida. That Gherkin's got a head of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any black loam. Okay, you can he you can notice the uh, apprehension there. But if you dare to pinch some of the from the cook pot, then be my guest. Just mind you, don't get trampled upon by the aurochs that dwell there. Oh, once you've uh, once you have three bushels worth, take the black loam to Prewall at Taylor's Rest. He'll know what to do. You know what? I have a bad feeling about this. I think I know what the black loam is. And if anyone's familiar with farming and gardening. Especially, or if you're the type that plays like Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley or something like that, you might have an idea what this is. Just saying. Okay, there it is. There's a good example of enemies that will aggro. Right there. Just, just like that. Oof, stunned. First time to get stunned. Oh 
Okay, he's wrecked. Got some hatchlings here. Oak hatchlings. And some bees. And some aurochs. Okay. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through. Okay. Out of anyone out of every one of us in the um, in the troop in Convo. I think Elk is the one familiar with Final Fantasy XI, so I think you might notice some familiar looking models among, some, among a bunch of these. So... I might recognize some of them. Oh no 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 no. Not today boy. Not today. Okay, have you made a guess of what Black Loam is? Black Loam is actually... Auroch Manure. Alex says, yes, but I never play 11 these days. Understandable. Uh, the system used in 11 is a little dated, I say. A little grindy and such, although I think they added some stuff and also they added new features in the whole thing. Oh, we got new skills! Okay, let's get out of here. But, um, should we... Go back to base first, or we finish this quest? Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, we got sleep. Let me transfer you to a good spot. Here. Oh, <laughs> and you can level down in 11. Ah. Oh, that's horrendous. That is just horrendous. The last thing you want is leveling down. Ah. Also, we got some new stuff too. Hold on. Let me just go to the... Uh... There's the thing. Ah, uh, here. I think we got some new things today. Let me check the mail real quick. I think I have something here that's supposed to be for me. Probably some account white stuff. Let's fetch it. So this is the aft castle. Let me guess. Ah, yeah. I know what this is. Folks, I finally have the bike. We'll find out what that bike is later. Let's use it first. Let's uh, set them up. Okay, first we have something new on the job gauge. And here's the thing about multi-seat mounts. Now, there are going to be some mounts that you'll get in the game that's a multi-seater, sometimes two, sometimes three, in other cases four, or in the rare instance, there are going to be some that are eight seaters. Now here's what here's something that we got for our summoner, or in this case for our arcanist rather. So we now have the ether flow gauge, which is the thing down there. This will uh, fill, uh, using one particular skill called Energy Drain, this fills this up and once we have energy flow stacks, we can use them to cast 
a certain skill. Which I'll fix in a bit. Now we also have the Trans Gauge, which I'm using earlier, which allows us to use abilities. Uh, this allows me to basically um, enter into the Trans, allows me to cast more attacks. Uh, in this case, powerful versions of the Ruin spell. And then, once we have the Arcanum active, we can now summon them, and they give us buffs. And at the same time, uh, special abilities. I think you're seeing them earlier when I sent out the Ruby Carbuncle. But we'll, see, we'll be seeing more later. Now then. And Angel said, mounts for the whole party. Yeah. We got mounts for the whole party. Okay. Here's the ability. Let me just fix this up real quick. That's how I want it. Now, let's warp towards a specific spot. Let's go to the Arcanist Guild at Melvon's Gate. Oh, and for those who might have missed this last time, Melvon's Gate is actually your Bureau of Customs. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> Tactical Planning Acting Guildmaster Fulbergheim wishes to assess the improvement of your Arcanima. Hmm. Yes, Sigurd, the time for your next lesson is upon us. You're keeping well, I trust? Take the occasional brisk walk. Uh, one cannot form sound thoughts if one uh, fails to maintain a sound body. Now, assuming you have been following Klyha's uh, instructions, you should be ready to face a more um, the more dangerous threats found in Western Lanosia. I speak of Roselings and Wild Jackals, and yes, I would have you vanquish three of these. This is a perfect sample size. First acts as a preliminary test, a uh, preliminary test case, the second to test your hypotheses, and the third to perfect the tactics you've devised. Ooh, music here is very FF12, FF tactics. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you would actually hear some other FF tracks I think in this game. That's an interesting scenario here. Speaking of which, I trust your strategy will consist of more than simply flinging ruin over and over again. Oh no, she just called us out on the ruin spam. Ha! Huh. You are not the novice you once were. And your skills in the field ought to reflect that. If you find yourself wanting for other approaches, consider an assault with ruin in tandem with your attacks. From your car well, with attacks from your carbuncle. When timed appropriately, you can deal a crippling blow to your opponent. Just called us out on the ruin spam, huh? But to be honest, that particular technique just works. It just works. Oh wait, might as well complete one particular quest here. Give me a sec. Onward. Aye. This is the dutiful sisters of the idle vice. A house of deep reflection and meditation. So unless you have proper business with us, you can kindly bog it off. Oh, uh, I got package for you. Hmm, what's this then? A parcel from the Bruguer Consortium, eh? Let's have a peek inside. Ooh, walnut bread and ginger cookies. And a few of them Bismarck finger sandwiches too. Them consortium calls know the right way to show appreciation. Some of them sisters have unholy appetites, so I'd best save a few bites for myself uh, uh, before I take this inside. <clears throat> 
Let Jnashheim. <laughs> oh god, I can't pronounce. <laughs> you let Jnashheim uh, know we've always we're always here to show her boss. Uh, sh uh, we're always here should her boss have need of us again. I think there's something about that. About that particular location. Something's uh, ringing the bells. Cookies! Oh, uh, did you know that there is actually a, a job or a class here in this game that focuses on cooking? No, you cannot bring your cooking to battle, but you cannot exactly uh, fight using cooking, like you cannot battle cook, but you can, however, make special items, consumable items that provide you buffs. And that takes it in the form of food. Food items. Which is nice. Okay, let's just finish this uh, gold quest here and see if we can get anything special. Wait. Oh. There they are. You've delivered the packages I requested. Very good. I shall pass on the sister's sentiments to my superior. Hmm? What manner of services do the dutiful sisters provide? Continue your stay in Lemsa Luminsa and you'll find out soon enough. In fact, if you're confident in your abilities and comfortable with the unconventional, you might wish to approach them yourself. Ooh. Interesting. For now, let's go back here. The unfortunate case is there's too many people here. I wonder I'm slowing down. Ah, the unfortunate. That's rather unfortunate. But anyway, let's go to Aleport. I'm afraid the Aleport Ferry is out of service for the pairs. Until such time she is seaworthy again, might I suggest you familiarize yourself with the amenities of our fair city and perhaps hone your skills as an adventurer. Ah, that sucks. Available at level 15. Ah, painful. Guess I have to walk. I guess I'll have to walk. Oh well. This is gonna hurt. Ah, walking. More walking. You know what? Let's walk back to the farm. I think there's a way here that we can make this efficient. Okay, now that we're here... Oh, good. Not that far. Not that far. Okay, and speaking of cookies, now that you mentioned cookies... What do you guys have? Lords and ladies? Lass and la lasses and laddies? What did you have for lunch? What did you have for breakfast? Or if in case it's already dinner, or past dinner, what did you have for dinner? Kinda curious what you had. What's the delicious munchie that you've been enjoying lately? Because in my case, I think I had a bowl of veggies. Made a mix of, uh, I think, some grilled chicken last time. Oh, nice! The little Mooglet had a sandwich. What kind of sandwich, though, if I'm, if I may ask? Sandwiches are good. Now, a while ago for dinner, however, I had something close to a chocolate drink. Yeah, and uh, lots of water. Trying to increase my water intake since uh, yesterday, the other day. When I see someone had coffee and cookies, oh, that's pretty much it, Elk. Nice. Coffee and cookies. Zach had barbecue and rice for lunch. Unfortunately, he didn't get to finish it. Oh, man. Is it the pork or the beef? Or is it chicken? Or was it fish? I'm not sure. 
And some called chocolate. Oh no, I heard it's hot over there. If we put that in Fahrenheit, that's pretty... Oof. Fish fillet. Uh, fish fillet. Ah, yes. Fish fillet sandwich. Fast food kind. I can't imagine that. Breaded, I'm guessing. And pork barbecue. Mmm. Those are tasty treats. I only got like a... I had a cup of chocolate, but it's more of like a specialized, you know, brew. It's actually designed for placing a meal, if you will. And then I'm currently having like increased amounts of water intake. I'm trying to aim for like roughly as close as 104 ounces, which is half my weight. <laughs> uh, it actually helps, but there's going to be some frequent bathroom breaks you'll notice. Anyway, as we continue. Looks like we got the black loam. Ah, even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. But a bit of this black loam ought to change all of that. I haven't seen any in ages. Gathering black loam's not for the weak of weak of will, nor the weak of stomach, eh? <laughs> oh, and I can see angels making some breakfast. Mmm. Let me know what that breakfast is in a bit, okay? But for everybody who's wondering what the black loam is, I did mention it is it is manure. It's fertilizer. Oh, hi Thea. It looks like you had egg and bread and cranberry juice. Wow, that is a good breakfast. Nice breakfast. Oh, don't tell me Gurkant and Rotwinda neglected to mention where black loam comes from. I figured you'd say that. Well, surely you figured it out on your own from the cloying stench. Yeah, from the cloying stench. It comes from the Aurochs lair of all places. <clears throat> well, why, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that your efforts have brought us the black lobe and we can expect the bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. Yep, it is fertilizer. I knew it. I'm bleeding you it. Let's upgrade that real quick here. Give me a sec. Copper. Let's do a comparison real quick here. Oh. No need to change things. We have everything we need. Now he needs some stolen farm items. We need to recover some stolen stuff. Founded pirates, they know nothing of tilling, only killing. Stealing our shovels to melt and forge into axes of all things. They're biting the hand that feeds them, the mangy mongrels. I'd love to teach those curs a lesson in obedience myself. Yet I hadn't sworn to steal her and that I wouldn't fight no more. So I need you to bring back our farm tools. And make sure those dogs reap what they've sown. Say no more. We're doing just that. So, let's see, who wins, band of pirates or one squishy boy? Let's find out. sea dogs will try and steal when there's no harvest. 
Hey, you got your tools back. There you go. Ah, good to see the tools back, and in serviceable condition. Which will be more than we can say of Severin when he will get our hands on him. And get our hands on him. The wretch will likely have a role in the theft. In spite of meeting the pirates in secret, I did. I couldn't care less if the wastrel won't work. But when he consorts with cut purses that take our tools away, he's crossed the line. Still, we're ought to know what, uh, what sort of scalawag he's dealing with. Take word to him, will you? Will do, but uh, first and foremost, go to the west. Hmm, but how? Guess we'll have to run. Yeah, this is the most painful thing, unfortunately. You don't have a mount. But, in worst cases, do it here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if it works. If it doesn't, then I guess we'll have to reap the we'll have to reap what we sow. First ah here. Over here. We're gonna see if this method works. And I think most of you would actually see this happen. Here's a little tip. Let's see if it works though. So, talking to a chocobo porter provides you access to, well, the chocobo porter service. Ah, don't tell me this is your first time to visit the shop. I shall just okay. Now, chocobo porters allow you to. Go from one place to another on autopilot using a chocobo. Actually good for traveling to locations. But here's something that you should notice. If you go to specific uh, starting towns, aside from doing you aside from hiring a chocobo porter, you can also hire or rent a chocobo. You see, rental chocobos. And this is accessible by level 10. Which, fortunately, we are now. Greetings. Mine interests you in a chocobo. Mine are guaranteed the fastest in the realm, or your money back. It's 80 gil for 10 minutes. Let's do it. Very good. Remember, my birds are trained to return directly to the stables once the rental period has expired. Or upon the moment where you dismount. Take care not to find yourself stranded in a dangerous locale. Good day. I guess we had no choice, but we had to do this. Okay, this one explains the dismount mechanic, and now we have a we have a buff that allows us to ride a chocobo, but only for ten minutes. Is it me, or this chocobo theme sounds a little familiar? And not because it's a chocobo theme, but it sounds like a certain... There's a certain uh, theme to this. I'm trying to put my head to it. And yes, it's a chocobo! Look! Chocobo is getting us to places. Oh no, we're being chased. <laughs> Yikes. Run. Ah yes, Zach, it is a very iconic melody indeed. Very iconic melody. Okay, now let's see if we can move down here. There we are. Oh, and if you notice that dun 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 I suggest you look up this thing called the Marlboro theme. I'm not talking about the Marlboro theme as in the uh It's the cigarette, not the monster. <laughs> uh I think it's like I think it's called Marlboro Country. I think that's the one. That's the one I think I might be referring to. 
Anyway. Okay, let's dismount. But we are far away from home, so let's do it. Wait, where do we find the Roselings, though? Anyway, let's risk it. Here we go. Okay, this one's a level 12, and it's the aggressive type. Okay, that's one down. We need a second one. There we go. Also, here's something uh, I'm going to mention as a tip for everyone who uh, plays a summoner or anyone who plays casters in this game. What I, if you notice that they're in, when I'm casting a spell, I, I, I can actually move after a certain point. But normally, in casting spells, you normally couldn't. So there's this thing called slide casting. So what it does is that when you're casting, there's a caster bar. Uh, there's a cast bar, right? Once you reach a certain point, like uh, close to about 10%, like 0 0.40 seconds, that's the time you start moving and the casting animation will still continue. So it's actually helpful when you're trying to do some uh, kiting. Also Angel's like, Marlboro's going nuts for the Marlboro's. <laughs> and smoking too much made their breath stinky and toxic. Yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a, here's a joke for you. Just in case. Do you know what the Marlboro cigarettes are made of? Marlboro tentacles. You're welcome. Marlboro tentacles. No wonder they're effective as a smoking equivalent. As a smoke equivalent. We're currently in a really uh, precarious territory here. Got some, uh, got some crabs. We got some jackals. Let's get back up. This is close to the west. We're still in the middle part or central part of Lenosia. Is there a? Oh, there's a ramp here. That's nice. Okay. That makes this easier. Yeah, so anyone who is wondering about smoking, please do not smoke. For the sake of your health. If you think it's cool, yeah, sure. But that's up to you. Just don't smoke. It might impact your lungs. It's a bad idea. Where do I find the... Hmm. Where do I find those things? Where are the roselets? The roselings, rather. I think. Oh no. I guess I really have to go there. Ah, too far. Too far. So Marlboros smoke Marlboros made from Marlboros. A good one out that's a good one also also hi again watching while working hey hope um hope the stuff that you're working on actually uh pulls through smoothly here's me passing on some creative and uh productive energy to you right now and we're technically grinding both of us although in my case i'm grinding in the game <laughs> Oh boy, lots of things happening lately. Also behind the scenes, uh, aside from me playing the game and making preparations for the stream, I also have to do some preparations myself out of stream. So if in case I haven't been streaming frequently and I've only opted to use Fridays as my free time because that's currently the case. Friday is my free time to stream. Uh, other days are not exactly as conducive at the moment 
since I'm currently working on a few things. Um, but, just to let you know what those things are, it's basically, well, some academic work. A bit of studying, but at the same time also some bit of preparation for the practical aspect of it. Just basically the more physical portion. In other words, I'm getting close to... Um, some would call it an internship, others might call it the uh, practical exam, or more the practicum rather. That's what I'm getting, uh, getting myself prepared for. Uh, for those who are doing medical, this is the clinical portion. The clinicals, as they call it. Anyway, we got some Roselings. We lost them. One more time. Wow. So what you just witnessed is the skill called Fester and Energy Drain. Energy Drain actually fills up this meter down here, which is over here. Fester is the one that spends this meter. For this one to activate this guy, you need to use Ether Charge. And it'll boost up your ruin. And then when it's done. When it expires, this gem lights up, and we get to summon Ruby. Ruby Carbuncle. It's our uh, squishy friend, but cute. No, our cute squishy friend, but red. <laughs> okay, so why you think I'm doing this now? Why am I attuning to this device? Uh, to the etherite? Uh, this is for... This is for um, future proofing our adventure here. It seems like we're done here, so let's go back to. Can this take me to. Okay, let's take us there. For 15, for, this is what the uh, order does. You see, the Chocobo is now autopiloting its way to its intended destination. So we're basically commuting right now on Chocobo. So in case you don't have your own Chocobo yet, this is going to be a useful feature to take advantage of. Later on, you're going to have your own mount. When that happens, you can just like get your own mount and uh, explore. In some mounts, they tend to vary in appearance. They can be, uh, aside from the chocobo, you can get something uh, similar to a wolf, if I recall. In some cases, it might, you might get a bird. In other cases, you might end up with something mechanical, like um, like a bike, or a car, or an airship. That's the one I'm looking forward to, an airship. Anyway, will this take me to where I'm supposed to be? No, it's not. Okay, I think I can drop off somewhere. We're gonna avoid that fate for now. That's not our business at the moment. Ah, nope. It's our business now. It's our business now. Okay. Good. Oh, and this is what happens when you're doing fates. You notice this meter right here? 
uh, that denotes the progress of your uh, fate or mission. Uh, fate is also known, uh, is an acronym for... Wait, I forgot the full acronym of this. Give me a sec. Pull that up on health. Give me a second. Where's that? Ah, there. The fate system. Full active time event. There, that's a term. Fate, for short. And depending on certain points in the game, you also get rewards specific to the area where a fate would take place. In some cases, you would get something like a... Uh, aside from gold, or gill in this case. Aside from gill, you also get... Um, other types of currency unique to specific aspects of the game. Other times you get some drops, like weapons, items, materials, and so on. Now, let's activate the porter here. This is going to help us actually. When we're traveling to places, this will make our journey easier. There we go. And it's also cheaper compared to using a what? Um, compared to using an ether, right? This is cheaper. So if in case you have a, if you're strapped for gill, and you want to teleport, and you're in a town, may I interest you in using the chocobo? Because why not? This is FF. This is Final Fantasy. Got to save on that gill. That's correct. You gotta save on that gill. Especially for new players, I would highly suggest you save your gill. Because it's gonna come in handy later. Like, really. Pirates making off with our tools. Freval did, did well not to take matters into his own hands. Last thing I need is blood on my crops. But I'll be damned if Severin thinks he can uh, take us for fools. His treachery won't go unpunished. Okay, let's see what we can bring along with us. Mm -hmm. Let's get this one. Second thought, let's get this one. And we just leveled, leveled up. So what does he want us to do this time? I've come down to expect a great deal from you, lad. You've never once let me down. Yet what I ask of you now goes beyond aught what I have asked for. Would you hear my plea all the same? Oh. Just deserts. Or <laughs> just deserts. Oh no, it's this again. Um, Elk, if you're looking at this now, I think I'm having a repeat of what you just encountered back in your um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth stream last night. <laughs> I think I'm having deja vu here. If in case you're seeing this, this is what it is. Just deserts. Not just deserts. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> Onward standing. Or pun aside. Stelwern has reason to believe that Severin is up to no good. Something must be done. Okay. It eases my mind to have your ear. You've no doubt familiar with that scoundrel Severin by now. Well, the scheming scapegrace is at it again. Since that letter came from him, he's been skulking about in that manner. Since, uh, in that manner, he he does when he's up to no good. Is this your line of desert quests? <laughs> desert deserts. <laughs> you know, Elk, that's a good question. I don't think so, but it might be. Then again, I'm not, up, I'm not up against plans yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Well, that scheming scapegrace is at it again. Since that letter came from him, it's he's been skulking about in that manner. He's up in that manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me this is different. He ain't exactly damning. 
But when I heard when I last I had words with him, he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you'd might that you that you might hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. That ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me of my uh, reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice to say, I'd rather he'd uh, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end. As for how to find him, I try asking Grinuida at the Etherite. He was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. Okay then. It's that moment when you have that pain in the ass type of uh, companion or subordinate. But you can't help but uh, still wish them well. Hopefully they don't get themselves, uh, you know, don't have the see their asses handed over type of thing. That's the situation here. But you know what? Before we proceed with this quest, I think we might need to go back to base. Right about now. Because I have a feeling we need to prep for whatever's coming. The best place to go to is the Arcanist's Guild. Here we go. Whoop. There we are. Look at him. He's got the hood. He's got the cowl. Oh, there we are. Here's our boss. The beer guy is here, and here she is. Welcome back, Sigurd. How did it feel to conquer such ferocious foes? Let us ride that wave of triumph onto an even more demanding and dangerous challenge. Wait, she's sending us to a harder mission. Oh boy. Your next training, ex uh, your next training exercise will have you accompanying for Seer Klyha on one of her inspections. This experience will afford you the opportunity to witness firsthand the practical applications of Arcanima. Play do not tarry, Sigurd. Klyha awaits you on the flow below with further details. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Looks like we're about to have our training. Let's see here. Well, that's a lot of carbies. That's a lot of carbuncles. Oof. Oh, there she is. Oh yeah, she looks cute, all right. A timely appearance, as I expected. Shall we proceed directly to the job at hand? I have been tasked with examining the wares of a goblin, pe a goblin peddler, a goblin peddler caravan run by the Boylestocks family. Our agents, our agents suspect these beastmen merchants of dealing with forbidden goods. As such, I have calculated the announcement and uh, that announcing an inspection has a 60% chance of inviting physical violence. I prepared a strategy to respond to this possible shift into hostilities, but there is an important precondition you must be made aware of before we discuss the finer points of my plan. Though I am considered gift in the formation of tactics, I lack the reflexes and coordination necessary to employ many of those self-same strategies on the field of battle field of battle. Pray keep this matter, uh, pray keep this factor in mind and adjust your perceptions accordingly. Now, should we, uh, should the goblins offer, bat uh, offer battle, you are to execute plan, uh, com execute combat pattern 1345, otherwise known as stratagem focus fire. Please don't tell me she's going to do order 66. I hope not. You and your carbuncle will be uh, will concentrate your attacks on a single foe, and one by one, the enemy will wither under the combined onslaught. Probability of victory: ninety-five percent. 
Reports place that peddlers in the vicinity of the cookpot in Middle Anosia. I will depart immediately to assess the situation. Seek me out once you arrive. Okay. So we're on a stakeout right now. Or in this case, we're going to... Uh... How do I describe this? Is this a raid? Or is this more of a... Um... Hmm. What's a better term here? I don't think it's called a raid. Uh, what was that? Is this a buy bust? A buy bust operation? Or a, or a surprise inspection? I don't know. I don't know which one. Infiltration? Um, not quite, I think. I think this is more of like a... You know, one of those inspection type, inspection type of thing? Uh, considering that the Arcanist Guild is kind of like the, uh... What's a good term here? Not exactly IRS, but... But they're kind of like the feds, when you think about it. And then we have, like, a caravan here that's, um, dealing with contraband, or possible. Or suspected of, uh... Dealing with contraband, so that's another thing. Breaking and entering with instructions. Dang it, Elk. <laughs> I think that is it, but then again, we're reading a uh, we're reading a card, so I don't think we're exactly breaking and entering. Let me buy your chocobo. I'm buying it for Edigil. That's gonna eat a lot of. Uh, there we go. Chocobo time! Yeah, this I can't I can't help but uh unhear I can't unhear it. I can't unhear the uh, Marlboro theme in this Chocobo theme. Marlboro country, alright. Oh boy. Let's run before we aggro. Oh no we aggroed! No, 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 no. Not today. Not today. Running back. Nope. Nope, nope. We are not having that today. No. Okay, here we go. This is our destination. I see him. And there's Cly- Oh! Ah, uh, here we are. And... Uh, do you see the aurora on her feet? Oh, I hear it now. The jingle at the beginning. Yep, Elk. You heard it too. First time I heard this when I was first playing this game. Uh, I was I had a double take. Like, wait a minute. I think I heard it from somewhere. And then, there it is. I am not sure who made it. If it was uh, Nobuo Uematsu or if it was Masayoshi Soken. I'm not sure which of the two did that. But it's one or the other. Okay, before I continue, I'll be right back. I won't be uh, changing the screen, I'll just leave it here. I'll be back with more water, and I'll also be back because I'm going to be going for to relieve myself and hopefully get this tension down. I'll be right back. And we're back. All right, let's do this. Okay, see, there it is. Judy calls. Commence battle for tactical planning. Now, level sync is in effect, uh, although our level is not exactly higher than that. Now, if you're you're above if you are above the level, 
uh, the maximum level allowed, it will sink as follows. Okay, so it looks like the max level is 14. Or level 11. Ah, this should be fine. Let's do it. Here we go. I am Foreseer Klaia of Melvan's Gate. You are to seize all transactions and surrender your goods for inspection. <clears throat> okay, this is the first time I'll do this. I'm not sure if I'll do this once, but hopefully not as frequent. Here we go. <clears throat> Nasty! <laughs> Nasty sneaky peekers! Kabi spit up under nosy yes on stabby iron! Nosy eyes. And they ran. A predictably aggressive response. Very well. Very well, Sigurd. Remember what we discussed. Looks out. Here we go. Uh, this is not a friendly goblin. This is the opposite of that, rather. Here we go. Um, do not forget the precondition. Adjust your tactics accordingly. Oh no, I'm out. Did they just bark? Here we go. Ow, bomb! Did that, did that dude just toss a bomb at me? What the heck? Avoiding bombs is your top priority. Uh, I can see that! Interrupt casting if you must. Focused on mobility. Okay, I get it. Uh, let's heal up first. There we go. I got him. Okay, slide cast one whenever possible. Here we go! Last time when you can. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no, 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 that's a bomb. Okay, blast him up. Yep. Okay, defensive maneuver. And that should be everyone. <laughs> okay, is that a friendly goblin? Uh, no elk, it's not. Actually, there are some goblins that are friendly and then others that are, well, hostile. Uh, Angel said, talking gobby does not equate to friendly gobby. Angel has a point there, which we just saw right now. Not all goblins are friendly somehow. But there are, there are really friendly ones, actually. We'll find them later. I think there's some. And Zach said, the goblin is actually barking. Oh, wait. You can, uh, you can say he's got that dog in him. Dang it, Zach. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> he got that dog in him. Yeah, I actually heard that. They were barking. These goblins are barking. Interesting. Now that you mentioned it. They're not down bad, that's for sure. They're not down bad for Klyha either. You know, these gobbies are... Peculiar, but yeah. Anyway. Nicely done. Adaptation, improvisation. I say that has been. I might have been observing our beloved Geldmaster himself in action. This was the perfect example of how the strategy for a given task should be. Uh, should be tailored to the abilities of the assessor. In other words, before you begin formulating your tactics, it is necessary to fully understand your own strengths and weaknesses. On that note, there is another question I would like to ask you. 
When it comes to improving the probable success of a strategy, do you consider more effective to concentrate on playing your strengths or shoring up your weaknesses? So, does it mean covering uh, covering weaknesses or enhancing my stre uh, enhancing strengths? Well, it's more of that. Oh, again you respond as the guildmaster once did. I must revise the probability of your potential to attain greatness to 97%. You're one to keep an eye on. That much is certain. But to return to the subject of battle plans, your calculation now your calculations must include an accurate assessment of your available techniques and their relative effectiveness. This requires you to be critically aware of your own limits, the limits of your allies, and the characteristics of your enemies. I believe that covers everything for today. Please return to the guild and make your report to Mistress Thubirgaim until we meet again. I shall abide here until the Yellow Jackets arrive to take the peddlers into custody. My strategies will keep me company. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, we're warping back. Or we'll just warp. We'll just walk. Let's walk. Let's just walk. Let me just get rid of this pirate first. Shields on. Damn. Blasted to pieces. And that's all that she wrote. Just for completion purposes. Why not? There you go. The chamber is empty. And that's why. So let's warp back. Let me have some water. Hmm. Hydration check. Everybody, don't forget to have your drink uh, nearby and don't forget to hydrate. Drink some water. Lots of water, actually. Drink lots of it. Especially on hot, hot days like today. You definitely need it. Helps cleanse the body, too, which is good. Let's go in. Welcome to Melvan's Gate, and we're back to completing our mission. Back from the field, Sigurd. Fly had uh, contacted me with a summary event. A summary of events. It seems you were treated to a lecture on knowing thyself. That particular lesson is ordinarily taught only to immediate, intermediate practitioners. Oh. Without a sufficient store of combat, uh, combat experience from which to draw, it is difficult to fully appreciate the confundity of such a seemingly simple truth. Nevertheless, I feel confident that you will soon be ready for a more ambitious assignment. Keep to your studies and maintain the razor edge of your mind. One last thing, Sigurd. Considering the dedication you have shown towards our discipline, I have decided to permit you to leave to explore the teachings offered by other guilds. I would suggest, however, that you first master the science of Arcanima. The strategic training you receive here will serve you no matter what path you eventually choose to walk. Return to me when your reason tells you the time is right. Okay, we're getting this thingy. This nice looking book. We also have a robe, coif, some gloves, some boots, and some bronze pieces. I'll get the boots. I need those. Okay. You can now access the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist in the corresponding guild. 
There exist myriad disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take up. For a most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. And we're level 12. So now we can unlock other classes. Which means this time we can now become... Aside from a battle class, uh, a battle class, we can also take crafting or gathering classes. Right now, we won't be doing that yet. At the same time, we just got resurrection. Mm hmm. Let me just uh update our equipment real quick here. Yeah, there it is. Looking nice. And let's register this. We now have our gear set. Now the beauty about this is that when you're switching jobs, you can also use gear sets to update. You can update them using gear sets. This will help you have optimal equipment based on the job you're using. That's correct. Convenience. After all, this is the game that allows you to switch jobs. And you actually benefit from doing so. Okay, Zach said, don't worry, I'm drinking lots. I'm not fainting today. Good to know. Keep yourselves hydrated, people. It's rather tough when you're uh, not getting enough hydration as needed. Okay, let's see here. Kinda weird. Done here. Let me go to Chocobo spot. A second. Well you know what? Let's just walk. I think that's better. I'll show you the locations right there. Let's walk it up. And run. Also, at the moment, our outfit looks a little, you know, a little weird. It doesn't have the uh, personality that we were aiming for. We currently look gaudy as it is. But don't worry. Let's give uh, this some time. It will pop up. It will have its moments. Just right now, it just looks a little... Okay, we have a fate here. I think that's only going to be activated if you talk to them. Oh, and in case you're wondering what I was referring to earlier, let's just, where's that thing? Hunting log, hunting log. Okay, here. If in case you want to level up right away, um, this is what you do. You fill up the hunting log and it updates by 10 levels. However, you have to kill certain monsters within the within the area. This will give you more XP, which will help you boost your levels. This is effective when you're leveling another job that actually starts at level 1. Just keep that in mind, because this is going to be different when you're trying other jobs that start at a higher level. Because they have a different set of progression, and you'll be forced to use other methods for that. But if you're using something like... The starting classes that we saw earlier, uh, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, as you will notice, there's like some starting classes here, like the gladiator, pugilist, marauder, lancer, archer, rogue, conjurer, thaumaturge, and arcanist. Uh, rogue is actually accessible only at level 10. You can um, boost their levels up to level 50 in some way or form using the hunting log. Oh, and that's an interesting question, uh, Little Moglet. Um, jobs level up separately? Yes, they do. In fact, I can show you this. They have separate lo uh, they, they have separate job levels, and they only un uh, they only are accessible once you unlock them at certain points. You will notice some NPCs where you can talk to them, and they can give you access to this. However, in order to access those classes, there are some prerequisites. 
Some of these will need you to be at least level 10. Others might need you to be at least level 30. Uh, some others might, be you to, might need you to be at level 50, 60, 70, and so on and so forth. Especially for the newer ones that come in the expansions, they need you to be at a higher level as much as possible. And of course, if you have access to the uh, expansion that, they're, that they belong to. I think since we have Stormblood, I think we can access, I think as much as the tanks go, we have access already to all of them. Uh, healers, we don't have access to Sage if you're playing this on free trial. Because that one is lock, uh, locked back in, uh, it's locked behind Endwalker. Uh, for the melees, you don't have access to Reaper because that's behind Endwalker. But you might have access to the others here if you're using the free trial since Samurai actually is in uh, Stormblood, which we already got access to at this point. Uh, for the physical ones, Dancer is behind Shadowbringers, so you might not be able to access that one. A uh, Gunbreaker, you might not be. Oh, I just realized you cannot access Gunbreaker unless you have Shadowbringers. I forgot these two were connected. On the magical side, we have Thaumaturge, Arcanist, Red Mage. These three are already accessible. If you have Stormblood, in this case, the um, the new free trial update has already come in. You should be able to access Red Mage as well. Uh, Blue Mage is a very unique one. This one requires a specific thing. It's a limited job, so this doesn't behave the same way as the others. But you can level that up too. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, I forgot another thing. So these are the jobs for battle. Uh, these are battle jobs, right? Or battle classes? These are your crafter and gatherer classes. So disciple of the hand is more for gathering items. Yeah, fisher, botanist, and miner. And then disciple of the land, uh, disciple of the hand are more crafters. So there you go. Uh, these are the stuff if you feel like you don't want to fight and you just want to do other stuff. This is also another set of uh, jobs that you can try out, and it will open up a different set of content. Fun, fun indeed. So many possibilities. Okay, and yes, organization thirteen, brown edition. <laughs> Why do you pointed that out, Elk? Why do you pointed that out? But did you know that you can also change the color of this? We will discover that later. I don't think we can do that yet. Let me first repair. There we go. Now, let's talk to the lady in question. Where is she? Ah! Nope. Not there. Not exactly there. There you go. Okay, she's overseeing the, uh, the logging operation. Well, they're cutting, I think they're cutting some firewood and stuff. Anyway. Here's Grinawida. Nothing that passes through these gates escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rabble set out for Wode Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing about drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky sods said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it is that they have pickled that had pickled their brains. If if you find the idle swine, be sure to give them a cuff around the ear from me, we do. Looks like we're going to uh bring in some wayward folk. Let's do this. More running. Let's go. And to sprint. Oh, and um, one thing about this game. I tried this on the PS5, and oh boy, it's fun to play on the PS5. It's just as optimal as playing on the PS4, and I can expect the folks playing Xbox with this game. I think they're having a rad time with it. Oh, and um, a little update from 
behind from last time behind the scenes I mentioned I was trying out the uh, benchmark right I did test the benchmark for the new expansion Dawn Trail and uh, good news my computer can handle it it scored high so I think we're gold or <laughs> I think we're golden in that one although the character that we had to use for that since you can actually create a character and you can actually preview the new race uh, new race update in this case, you get to use. Uh, you can now access the female Hrothgar, which is nice. Looks cute, but at the same time, looks. Dare I say, call it mommy? It's cat mommy at this point. We had the cat daddies. Now we got the cat mommies too, which is cool. Yep, <laughs> great. Eventual drawn trail stream when you get past that point. Yep. That's it. That's the intention, actually. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it in time. But I will take time with this and uh, lay out the story as much as possible. I'm not gonna rush it. I know that game is gonna take this game. This game is really gonna take time. So we will get there when we get there. Uh, I'll just I'll try to avoid FOMO as much as possible because I'm gonna see how much I can go with the uh, with this particular character here. The original plan is I'm going to focus on the main character that I used, which is, I think, what I showed back in the previous, the very first stream for Final Fantasy XIV for this channel. But for this expansion, I think I will push with getting our summoner here, or our arcanist here, to Dawn Trail. That's going to be our target for this series. We're gonna try to make sure we reach Dawn Trail with this guy. Of all the dirty, deceitful, downright dastardly deeds that slippery bastard's done. Claiming to take the lads out for a drink, only to lead us straight into a bloody trap. It don't go get no lower than that. Of course, I've learned to stay a step ahead of old Severin, so I was ready, but the others weren't so lucky. You've gotta help them. Okay, betrayal's afoot. That's not good. This is not good. And we're getting ever closer to such a location. That's not good. So, just a fun question about this. Uh, a good. Here's a little insight of what I was thinking for this character. So, Sigurd right here, or in this case, Eorzean Sigurd, <laughs> as we'll call him, started off as an Arcanist. Now, if you, later down the line, we might be getting other jobs. I'm thinking Machinist will be one of them. But, um, my main inspiration for this guy is basically to try to pull off a, basically an Eorzean version of Mega Man in some way or form, or in this case, Mega Man X. So that might influence the jobs that I'll be picking, but I'm thinking of putting up a poll next time, maybe on the community, community page or maybe later once we get access to those jobs. What will be my five jobs as I proceed with this game? Because there's going to be something like a surprise, I believe somewhere in, End in Shadowbringers and Endwalker, I think. Because, if I recall correctly, it's this particular grouping of jobs that will make me decide what stories, uh, which one will be used for certain parts of the game. This is also like, which, main, which ones will I be maining per expansion. That's also going to be another factor on the influence here. So don't worry, we're going to be uh, deciding that later. But for now, I have a feeling we'll be stuck with Arcanist for a good bit. Uh, watch out for that poll. I'm going to uh, watch out for the poll. I'm going to pull it up sometime later down the line. For now, let's try to help these folks and get them out of here. They asked me, they asked me as well if you've been a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better, or the sorry bastards in there are done for. Poor dude. 
Let's get him out. Oh, no. Here it is. We got another solo fight. Poor Lala. Zai Rarzai. Oh, poor dude. He always gets the short end of the stick. Severin might have gotten us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give his life for us. I'd sooner bow to fish back than be a dead conniving bastard's debt. To arms! To arms it is! Here we go, folks. Battle time. A true knave. You betray even yourself, Severin. Ugh. We are prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provided us with suitable replacements. That was the agreement. Yet you yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few of us are, a uh, few are they who betray the Serpent Reavers twice. You will not do so a third time. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, we're here. Uh, cowering behind your protector would only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. <laughs> and worthless though it worthless though it be, we shall take it. Wait, why is there the sus guy at the back? Uh, elk. If you're seeing this now, I think we found the organization thirteen dude. And for everybody who's also noticing this, I think we just found him. We just found our, our organization 13. And yes, you just saw this one that looks like Minsk. <laughs> I'll explain who that is later. O mournful voice of creation, grant thee this humble soul, humble stone of soul, that it may wake to life. Ah, uh, not good. That's not good. Oh yeah, he does look like Minx. <laughs> oh yeah, Angel had a point there. She, it's kind of like Glenn Lodbrock too. Oh no, Glenn Lodbrock from uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, Ever Crisis. Yup up. Okay, combat time. Okay, time to uh, make this work. Offensive. You are strong, but you are not strong enough to withstand this. Are we strong enough? Definitely not. That's why I'm staying away. <laughs> Ruby, go! Okay, two shots of Ruby Ruin. Plane Cracker. Oh no, that's not good. Let's keep blasting him. True Grit. Nope, nope, nope. I'm staying away from that. Not today. Impossible! Never has the golem been so thoroughly tested! Not today, boy. Not today! We got him! Nice! That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. Where did he go? <sighs> Alright, we're heading back. That was a close fight, really. Oh, she made it! <sighs> the snake slithered away. I'm only glad he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. Oh no. Ugh. Not again. Migraine. Hmm? Time. It's 
pirates do not belong to any of the Limson from uh, Limson factions. Whom do they serve? These tribes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent surge in Sahagin and Kobold activity. Something is afoot. The question is, what? Hmm. Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Full of help us if they should prove so. Limsa will be hard pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. All is yet speculation. We must needs find evidence. Seas continue to rise. While the lesser moon continues to fall. Okay, is it me? Or we've seen that moon before. To anyone who watched the earlier minutes of this uh, stream, and also the previous stream, if in case you managed to make it. Uh, if you're watching the, also to the Vod Watchers, you might have noticed this too. This particular moon here, that's the sending. The one that they refer to as the Lesser Moon, that's Dalamud. That's the one that broke in the uh, in the intro movie, the one where Bahamut showed up. Yeah, so I'm guessing this particular flashback may have taken place, I think, earlier. Oh, so that ties into the end of version 1.0. Correct. That is the case. It actually ties both together when you think about it. Remember, the gap between these is just five years. And this is what ties it all together. Dalamud and everything. So what you're witnessing here, I think might be a flashback that took place in 1.0, I'm guessing. Can't say for certain, but that's my guess. I might have to ask the lore folks about this one. And ilm by ilm, the world ever becomes more like it's uh, more unlike itself. Okay, uh, translation note. The unit ilm, I think, is equal to an inch. This is my guess. But I think there's more official info on this from, I think, either the forums or it's in Encyclopedia Eorzea. I'll have to look this up. But from what I gather, an ilm is an inch. A yam, if in case you might have seen that earlier, a yam is basically, I think, a yard or something, or a foot. Maybe a, I think it's a yard. And then a malm is a mile. So it's kind of like imperial, imperial units or freedom units, as some would call it. It's it's that kind of measurement. It's not the same as metric. It's not metric, that's for sure. Um, as for the measurement of time, they measure hours by bells, they, out, they measure years by summers, funnily enough. And if they're measuring months, it's by moons. Days are, well, days. That's about what I gather. It is as Louis Wa foretold. Oh no, that's not good. Something's coming. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundary between the material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of Charlian ring more true. Oh wait, this one is from a different time. Or is it? I don't know, I'm confused now. <laughs> I think we're seeing flashbacks in different times. Never do I dream, never did I dream that I would possess the means to see ether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. 
as swiftly to the wonders of Charlie and seem commonplace. Um, a flower girl? Hold on. Here, for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today, the Maelstrom uh, official. Uh, the, today, the Maelstrom officially makes that great hole in the sea its training ground. Join in the celebrations. It on. Wait, a disturbance in the etheric flow. Whence does it emanate? Sea Song Grotto, perhaps? Hmm. Okay. What have we here? Can you walk? Hmm. Tis I. Regrettably, no. He eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. You collapsed from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered? Severin here has apprised me from all that transpired. His account set, shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem, of all things. A golem is a mindless automaton, inert save when commanded to be otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing, so arcane are its workings. But then these tattooed wretches are no common pirates. They are the minions of the Sahagin. As to their purpose, well, I shall get to the bottom of it. So yeah, the Minx look-alike, apparently, is a minion of the Sahagin. Interesting. That's no good. But first, I must escort Severin back to his place of employment. I dare say Stalewern will be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word to him of your preservation. But I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray pay the man a visit. Ah, he told me of you. But perchance, he did not tell you of me. My name is Shishtola. I am a naturalist of sorts. Surveying the ether in the, hopes, in the hope that it might offer us some clue as to our predicament. I'd say I'd owe you. I'd say I owed you my life, but that don't cover it. If I don't, if it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. It is a debt I can never repay. But I'll not make things worse by running away. Take me to Summerford Farms, and I'll face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem. Forgive me. We have. We shall, we shall have a chance to speak again when I have marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross, farewell. Hmm. Interesting. That was an interesting turn of events. You just fought a golem. Summoned by uh, a hooded figure. Marshal her thoughts indeed. <laughs> That's right, Angel. Marshal, she'll marshal her thoughts. We might see her again soon. Who knows? I'm pretty sure she will show up again. Oh, and uh, if you've played or seen the uh, the previous Decidia entry, I'm not sure if there's going to be other entries after that. Uh, Decidia NT. Um. Yeshtola is the representative of Final Fantasy XIV. I have qualms with that. I have I take issue in that. I don't think she would be a far-fitting character for that one. 
It should have been someone else. But I guess we'll have to take what we have and just go with that. Oh no, that is beyond our pay grade. Do not touch that. <laughs> if you don't want to die, that is. So let's see where our friend. Oh, there's our carbuncle. Cute little carby. You're on our way back. And for the past few hours, we've been just like what? Jogging our way around the Lanose uh right all right all the way around Lanosia. And whew. It's been like day and night and day and night and there. Here we are. We're back in the farm. So, uh, good question, Muglet Girl. Uh, who would you pick? Who would I pick as 14th uh, main? Well, this is gonna be interesting because there are gonna be a lot of characters that will show up later on. Um, while Ishtola uh, presents a really cute case about that because she's really well known, considering her how vital her role is, I think her other companions are also. Uh, worthy of that, to be honest. Personally, I would say they should have brought in the representative of the Warrior of Light. And he has an official name, actually. Uh, although, it might be spoilers for what his actual name is. But if you're... Okay, this is going to be spoiler territory. I'm going to mention the name. So, if... For anyone who's watching the VOD or for anyone who's watching the stream, close your ears now. For everyone who's watching the VOD, you may want to skip forward a bit. I'm not sure if I can put a timestamp here, but I'm going to say it right away. I'm going to give the countdown. And if you're interested in hearing who this is, stay a while and listen because I'm going to tell you his name. All right, starter starts now. And... Warning has been evoked. Spoiler in three, two, one. Now, the name of the character in question is the same is basically the man that we saw in the opening the in the opening movie, the guy with the axe, the warrior. His name is Ardbert. That would be my pick on who should be the representative of Final Fantasy XIV. His name is Ardbert. However, the problem here is, if we use that as his official name, it's gonna be too confusing already, since this is also the name of a character that we'll be seeing later down the line in the expansion. His official name for some of the players, and I think the accepted, accepted name for him in the community, is Meteor, or for some of us, we call him Wall. That, that's about it. Some call him Meteor, actually. The reason for that is because of how important his character is. And in fact, in terms of power ranking, he is actually one of the... Uh, the Warrior of Light is uh, of 14 is actually one of the strongest amongst the main characters. So if you put him in Dissidia... He's actually really up there alongside Clive and Lightning and Noctis in terms of raw power. Maybe I would also argue Final Fantasy 1's Warrior of Light. He's also strong. Anyway. Spoiler over. We're back into the story. We're back in the gameplay. So now with that said, <laughs> let's go back to Steelworn and Severin and see what's going on and tell them what just happened. Looks like he's having a stern talking to. Though, I knew you'd return. Yestola delivered Severin a bit ago. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back too, the lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who should blame for that, then that and the rest. 
I was once a serpent reaver. A thrall to the Sahagin? Seven hells! Reavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not but the fishback's flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's uh, there's things we won't do. We've got a code, see? But the Reavers will have uh, never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law-abiding luminescence. <laughs> Alex said, uh, reminds me of FF11. They made Shantoto the representative character, but I would have picked Prish. I would agree. I agree that it should have been Prish. Or if you would hear me out, there's this another character I think that showed up later on that also showed up on the crossover here in FF14 and FF11. There's a crossover that's coming up uh, that came up before. I think it, I forgot her name. Oh, shoot, I have to look this up. Uh, there's a there's a character there. I think it's Iroha. She has that uh, Eastern armor to her, and she has a spear. I think a glaive to be specific, a naginata, if you will. That also counts as um, another instrumental character that should have been the representative, but I would understand why Shantoto, but that's really weird. Yeah, there you go, Iroha. Yeah, 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 yeah. She should have been the representative. If it's not Prish, that, it should have been her. And uh, one of my companions uh, who played FF14 and joined alongside me, like uh, we, we joined at the same time and played at the same time, they also pointed that out. So, just putting it out there. I uh, would also put the case for Iroha for this one. Anyway, for 14, uh, we might see more candidates that we might actually debate on who actually deserves that. But don't worry, we will see them all and you will see some defining moments at who becomes, you know, a fitting representative. Anyway. Also, I think they mentioned something about a code among pirates. I wonder what this is. But I'm pretty sure it's like a code of honor for them. I'd only taken I'd only just taken my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sahagin masters. I knew I had to get away. Ah, oh, so that's why he escaped. So he actually escaped. Like like right now, he escaped. So I, kept, so I crept off one night, let's see, I knew he escaped. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home, Summerford Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long around here, and words soon spread, all the way back to the sea. The penalty for, for desertion is death, but the Reavers offered me a way out. Instead, my freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking. Too much soil, too busy soiling myself. I. You got, but you got there. You got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear them talk about how you stood to the weavers at the last. Of how you tried to give up your life to save theirs. Be that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that. I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. Hmm. You'll hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides you back here someday. There'll be always be a place for you at Summerford Farms, lad. I'll always be in your debt, Stalewern. <laughs> oh boy. Poor dude. That's a tough one. Like, you're given that ultimatum that you're going to sell off your friend, uh, your companions. That's no way to. That's no way to go. But at least he uh, straightened him out in the end. Yeah, sad. But I hope he gets better. At least uh, Steelrun gave him a chance. There's a chance for him to come back. 
I owe you a debt too, Sigurd. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving the men of my farm. If I could have, uh, if I could, uh, if I could ask one more favor from you, it'll be this: tell Baderon of what happened from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put a good word for, Ser for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know who the rec red, the Yellow Jackets will listen to. Well, I reckon I asked all I can possibly ask of you. Safe travels, son. Travel we will. Don't worry, Steelward. We'll let him know. We're warping back. Also, just to let you know, I'm going to focus only on the uh, MS, uh, the main story quest and possibly the job quests. Although there might be some moments where I might unlock the other gold quests just to clear up the map, but that's going to be with... Uh, that's going to be in times when I'm using a different job on stream just to level them up. Should help us with getting more levels for them. Okay, let me just... Uh Warp over. Oh my god, it's slowing down because of too many people. <laughs> Alright, how many hours has it been since we've started? Mind uh mind telling me how long have we been doing this? I'm trying to keep track. Okay, we are back here. Okay, there we go. Ah, there's Batteron, the Drowning Winch. Let me check our time real quick and see how long have we been doing this. Wait a second. Okay, two hours and 24 minutes so far. I think we can still push further. <sighs> Bloody hells. Life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Almost three hours. Nice, nice. Yeah, almost three hours. I think I'll cap at four. I don't think I can match Elk with the seven-hour stream. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll try to do as much as I can and see if we can cover as much as we can, okay? Anyway, here we go. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself over young Severin. The yellow jackets and the yellow jacket has hands. Uh, yeah, the yellow jacket has hands out. The punishments is a good mate of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon he'd be uh, willing to commute the lad's sentence from hanging to keyholing. Kindly gent that he is. Ah, I'm only jesting with you. I'll see he's traded fair. Now. It sounds like uh, you've done something everything old Stalwin asked, uh, asked of you and the more. Justifying me generous finder's fee in the process. Much obliged, lad. As for your reward, well, she's a lonely lady, this drowning wench of mine. How do you fancy keeping her company for a spell? With free room and board! Adventure is a trying business after all. Them as though uh, them as don't rest their bones every now and then and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly so much fun as when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There'll always be a free bed for you, so make use of it. And we got an in room. <laughs> nice. That you'll, uh, now that you'll have much time for lying around. What did all the leaves you'll be doing? Oh, didn't I mention? I'm putting your name down for leaves. Our guild draws all manner of clients, offering all manners of odd jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk you'll pay, uh, pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just give uh, Tomokri a shout whenever you need uh, whenever you feel like making a few extra gil. She'll always have some task or another for you to do. 
Oh. <laughs> Sigurd going 11 hours, 50 minutes max for VODs. <laughs> Five minute break and another. <laughs> oh no, that's going to be too much. That's going to be too much. But if I have a schedule sorted out, I might do that. But I can't do that. That's like Kayla. That's like. Kayla Kowalski levels of long. <laughs> Maybe half of that. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe half of that. Let's give uh let's have mercy to the to the uh VOD watchers too. This is gonna be too long. <laughs> well we'll try to cover as much um you know. We'll try to cover as much as we could. Okay. Oh and uh that's and that's all above board, in case you're wondering. We're careful to stay on the Admiral's right side in here, unlike some pirates I could mention. I tell you, it turns out they had uh, ought to do with them kidnappings, there'll be seven else to pay. A proper bleeding reckoning. Yep, that's what Limsa needs though. On rough seas, sometimes you have to rock the boat to right it. But we'll have time for such talk when you're uh, well rested. Till then. Enjoy the wench's hospitality. And we got a room! You can now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. Uh, this is what I was waiting for. The recommendations list uh, can open up uh, can be opened from under, from under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this will make it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. So if in case you're trying to level up your character, this is what you'd use. So basically it's this. So you see a list of quests here. Um, you can also filter this out like using Hall of the Novus. Got the quests right here. Main quest. The uh, These are job quests, some of them, and some of these are... So are well, side quests that will open up other things. The moment you see a blue icon with a plus sign, that is an that is a that is a side quest that will open up something. Now if you see the gold ones, these are more of like side quests that will just give you rewards. Or sometimes they give you a story too. It's very organized actually. And yes, it's an organized quest log. Good pointing out there, Angel. That's nice. It's actually the setup here, and then if you picked a quest like what happened earlier, it'll also show up on the journal, right here. Right now, they're only showing blank because I didn't accept any yet. Also, if you're doing hunts, um, not just uh, hunting log and hunts, it also has a category right here, like this one. You will see a list of enemies that's within the zone. This one will be the list of fates that will be also in the zone. Uh, this one's for leave quests, sightseeing log if there's a area that you want to check out. That, that's going to be unlocked later. This is for the hunt. This is a specific thing when you're trying to look for hunts. Uh, for, you know, specific monsters that I think comes up way later than the light. I think that's after the main quest or something. Uh, gold saucer when you're in the gold saucer. You'll see the gold saucer later. <laughs> I think you saw that in the previous episode when I was using the main character. My personal character. My off the stream personal character, of course. Uh, Judy Roulettes. Uh, we don't have that yet. We'll see that later. Guild Hests. Also, another thing. Dungeons, Trials, PvP, Raids, and that's about it. Those are recommendations. Now, Shall we push on with the quest, or shall we unlock something? Ah, this is the leave meat. This is where we get the side quests. Uh, but this is a, this is more of like quests that you can unlock for other classes. This is open for everyone, uh, open for every job that you have, and uh, it's based also on your level. It actually rewards you uh, well. The moment your level is within the same range. The moment it goes beyond that, it kind of penalizes you by reducing how much reward you get. But this is actually useful for other things too. So keep that in mind. 
We won't be accessing that yet. Because first and foremost, check if yeah, that's the armor. Do that again. Put on her. Okay, let's do this. Sky high. Radaron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench, has a suggestion to put you on the road towards new adventures. Oh, how do you fare, Sigurd? Rested and ready to expand your horizons? Well then, I've got an idea for where you might be leading next. Have you heard of the sky lift in the, uh, out in the middle, uh, out in middle Anosia? If you ever visited Wold Whisper Canyon, then you must have been up and down the thing at least once. It's that big bleeding scaffolding attached to the descent. You've likely seen the lads and lasses out of there using to old cargo up in the cliff face. Hard labor that. And I, and I hear uh, they could be using an enterprise and soul to pick up the odd jobs with no other bugger as time to deal with. Track down the head of the operation, a bloke by the name of Work hit. Work rate, rather. Work rate. I misread as a work hit. Work rate. And he'll be sure to put you up to work on a task or two. More jobs. Okay, before we do that, let's look at the inn, shall we? Oh, he's one welcoming guy. Here's our inn. Got a nice bed. Got a journal here. We got this thing called the Glamour Dresser. Some toys. Crystal Bell. Summoning Bell. Orchestrion, if you've played Final Fantasy 16, this might be a familiar thing. The chime sounds so FF12. Oh, yes, it does. That chime really uh, is so comforting, Elk. And here's the Orchestrion, where you can play music. Um, believe it or not, you can get orchestrion rules, which are basically song sheets that you can play using the orchestrion. So if you're the type that likes to collect soundtracks, this is the best place to go for. This is the best thing to get. Final Fantasy 16 featured this, but the one who started it, I think, was Final Fantasy 14. I'm not sure if this also popped up in Final Fantasy 11, but yeah. As far as I know, 14 has it, 16 also took it and made it uh, available for the offline FF players. Speaking of which, Rising Tide is already out, so please check that out if you can. If you can. I heard they added more stuff. <laughs> Orchestrion included. <laughs> Alright, now, another thing. We don't have this yet. The glamour dresser since we need a specific quest to use that one the armoire is basically our armory and this is where you store certain items with limited methods of obtainment so basically job specific gear seasonal stuff uh, seasonal items and so on this is where you store them instead of the glamour dresser this is where you store them you can access them for the glamour plates which is which we'll see later However, the, the condition is you have to make sure your items are at 100%. Bought it and I need to reacquaint myself with the combat system. It's a lot harder than the first DLC. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, were you playing this on normal mode or were you on Final Fantasy mode? Because that might also be what's affecting the difficulty from what I heard. But yes, I did also hear that they made the encounters challenging. So, yeah. It's really testing everybody's uh, skill. On the bright side, I think you can now customize your controls too. From what I heard from the new, the latest update, that's what they did. So I think that should be a good thing. Okay, that's another thing I noticed. Items should be at 100% and 
Storing an item will reset its spirit bond and condition, as well as remove customized elements such as dyes and crests. Ah. Anyway, let's store some items. So we'll be storing these because these are going to be... These are special items that should be stored in the armoire. We don't want them to take up too much space. We can use them again, however, once we have the glamour plate ready. Uh, the glamour system ready. In this case, the glamour dresser. We'll get there later. There's a quest for that. And oh my god, it's in normal mode? Oh no! I think they did something right there, but at the same time, I'm scared. I'm scared for my uh, run in that game then, if that's the case. Oh boy. But I heard they buffed up some stuff too. Uh, a bunch of iconic abilities and uh, skills have been upgraded in some way or form, so that might be a good thing. Alright, where's the sky lift? It's outside. It is outside. Okay. We're hiring a... Okay, two things. Hire a chocobo or we warp? Let's warp. Let's walk. I have a feeling I'll be done by around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. We'll see. Let's see how far we can go. Alright, let's keep running. Basically, we're focusing on MSQ right now, main story quest. See if we can make it as far as the first dungeon. If we get that far. I don't think we will, but... I also have a feeling we might get there. Then again, last time I was doing this, I was doing it for like, what, 8 hours? But not on stream. On stream, I'm treating this as a story game. I'm not skipping any cutscenes. <laughs> Alright, let's just hop off. Gone. Up. Path here. Here. We got some fish floating above the water. I'm not sure how that's working, but not questioning it. <laughs> okay. So, this is what the recommendation does for you. Let's put up the hunting log. Oh, looks like we killed all the monsters that's within this area. Sort of. Might have to check the other spot too. Okay, anyway. This is the ramp. Okay, here's the sky lift. Ah, there he is person we're looking for. Okay, let's go down. Three mile bend, or as we call it, the three mile bend. Okay, we're crit. I didn't send you out, uh, uh, sent you out here, did he? Consider yourself welcome at the Skylift. Look at that bloody cliff, will ya? One blast of fiery hell from that huge dragon was all it took to split the crown in half. Cargo still needs to get through though. So this mess of wood and pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them at least. If the gods were kind, they ain't. I'd have about a dozen more workers to hand me growing lists of headaches. Oh god. Grief, poor dude. Ooh, amateur's breaches. Let's get that. Oh, we leveled up to level 30. 13. 13. That's a great. Nice. Good gear. Burkrit, a Skylift operator, needs you to recover a cargo load abandoned by a terrified wagon driver and deliver it to its intended receipt. Oh, we're doing some delivery work today. 
Glad I'm glad I am to see you again, lad. Wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity what sprang out from a mil million corn siddling in his cargo. Seems the gutless bastard tossed it over the side for turning tail and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to Liulf over at Swift Birch. Western Lanosia. Whatever you pay, uh, whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightly know what else is lurking inside that plant, and you deserve to be rewarded for your troubles. Oh, and you'll also find an etherite in Swift Perch, so the journey should be worth your while. Oh, and just in case, we already attuned to that thing, so we'll be good. Oh yeah, we leveled up, all right. Level 13, two more levels. Two more levels before we reach that side quest. There's a bunch of side quests I'm looking forward to, but let's see if we can make it to level 13 first. Once we do, we might see a new look for this character. Just you wait. Okay, we are now at the crossroads. It's currently dark. How deep but dark? Let's see. Huh? Yeah, it is cloudy. No sign of the, the stars in sight here. Bad. Anyway. Further we go. Oh, there's the seedling. Okay, I don't trust that. There's a, there's a jackal. Let's wreck it first. Charge to spare. Let's do that. Let's use it up. Okay, blasted them off to oblivion. Which is nice. Okay. Western side. Hmm? We also see some roselings too, and uh, as you would notice, the roselings are passive. Docile, it won't attack unless it's, unless provoked, of course. Ah, there it is. The monster I'm looking for. Let's try blasting them up. Recommendations, real quick. That one. One thing more. Oh, wait, that's it? Funny enough that they didn't show anything with the hunting log today. Oh, there. There's the others. Let's clear this out. Let's toss that out. Some XP there. That's nice. XP boost. Ah, here we are. Swift Birch. Who's the person we're looking for? Oh, he's tilling the fields already. Ah, 
Has Nymea herself forsaken this desolate land? Though I understood there were risks in gambling my entire fortune on a crop of million corn, I at least expected the seedling to be delivered before the disaster struck. Well, say no more. It's here. Is this my million corn seedling? Oh, joyous day! May seem a paltry beginning, but the yield of this particular variety of crop plant is nothing short of astonishing. As you have undoubtedly noticed, Swift Perch lacks a certain, shall we say, vital energy. Thus I need, I mean to restore a modicum of hope to its residents by growing a veritable ocean of corn. So you, sir, seem fit to burst with vim and vigor. Might I persuade you to abide a while and uh, help nurture this ailing settlement? So this is the other half of this thing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And we're back here. Let's do some quests. I got a question, guys. Hat or no hat? Should we go with a hat or should we go with no hat? Or better yet, should we get spectacles instead? Wizard hat for the win. Hat. Okay. See two votes for hat. Okay. Fair. That's fair. Although the hat stats are low at the moment and they think the glasses are outweighing it. So, might wear glasses. Let's see. Any new, any new items we can get? Breaches are better. Hat spectacle. Hat or spectacles. Okay, yeah. So headgear it is. We'll keep the headgear. Because there's an option where you can hide the headgear when you're playing this game. But I think we'll do that. We'll just go for it. Optimize. Ah, there he is. Sigurd, as intended. Finally has glasses. So, what do you think of the hair? Does it look like me? I think it looks like me. Even the co even the uh, the tunic right now it suits him. Almost close to what I actually look. Hmm. Nice. But what do you think? Let's talk to Freeloaf. Oh god. The name is already reminding me of food and I know I can't afford to be hungry right now. <laughs> Very accurate avatar. Yeah, I, I aim to make him accurate. So I do hope he is. So Freeloaf, a yellow jacket on guard duty in Swift Perch, wants you to visit the Brewer's Beacon and investigate the reason behind the waning light. You there, adventurer, cast your eyes towards the Brewer's Beacon. Does the, light, uh, does the light not seem uncommonly weak? It cannot possibly be bright enough to guide the ships sailing in the bay. I would march over to the lighthouse and investigate myself, but I am I am duty bound to remain at my post. I would consider it a favor if you could make it a visit to Brewer's Beacon and see if aught has befallen Kanswis, the lighthouse keeper. Lighthouse check. Here we go. Time to do a lighthouse check. I wonder what's happening there. Oh, I see the light. What about its keeper? 
way to find out. Oh no! I grow. Go. Oh crud. Of all the times, we just had to be in a fate that involves a boss. Why? Why game? Why? I guess I have to grin and bear it. Oh no. Be careful. Oh no. Not now. Thing, I swear. Okay, let's blow him up. Oh boy. Okay, here's the thing about... Is that a big angry crab? Yes! And he's called Old Six Arms. Okay, what I'm demonstrating right here also is the move called um, Slide Casting. Ah, nope, I ran out of time. <sighs> right. Well. Well, on the bright side, we got past that thing and we got to the lighthouse keeper. Right here. There it is. There she is. Consumus. They say a yellow jacket sent you here? Eh? Light's grown dim, has it? Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb what fuels me surface, and me furnace, has up and buggered off, you say. If I don't get that bacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just a messenger lad, but I can, I can tell an adventurer when I see one. I'm going to need you to chase down that bomb and bring back a claw of what you ripped out of its smoldering corpse. Take that here iron brazier and set her down in the middle of a flock or somewhere nearby near the scarecrow, I'd say. You'll get a nice fire going and that frisky bomb will soon be about. Watch, uh, watch it, don't singe your eyebrows, lad. Nice. Okay. We're gonna fight a bomb. Them pesky fireball with faces. Oh boy. Ah, this buggered. Freaking buzzard, stop! Okay, good. They left me alone. That's perfect. Okay, let's go. Where do you put it? Oh, no, not another one. Right in the same spot as the boss? Come on. Ah, <sighs> I need to be 
by the boss. Okay, let's get this thing going. Razor's on. There you go. First light. Oh, we got him! Nice! First a giant angry crab, now a giant angry bird? Dodo bird? I think this is a dodo bird. Oh nice, you got some help. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, we kind of got some help. We get some heal. Oh no 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 no! And I noticed that the one assisting us is a ninja, or maybe a rogue, I don't know. But we got daggers. Nice, 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 nice. We got him, we got him, we got him. Yo. Just gonna give him a bow. <laughs> okay, if this thing aggroes me, I'm gonna cast sleep. Wait, you know what? I might as well. that ashy bastard did you once I put this little firecracker in the furnace that should keep things running for a while I had myself a bit of a look while you was gone and them lane curse me if the furnace weren't all burnt and broken small wonder the bloody bomb was able to escape I patched things up as best as I could but I ain't no smithy yeah you might want to have a want to have a, pa a chat with that yellow f jacket friend of yours in Swiss Birch and have him pass the word back to someone in Nimsa. Oh good, good to know. Good to know. Blast you. Oh, finally, another skill. Alright, for those curious, what we just learned is another form of skill, but specifically, it is called a roll action. This one, in particular, is helpful for casters and healers alike. It helps restore your MP if it's low. Best time to use this ability called losing, uh, it's called lucid dreaming and the best time to use it is when your MP is down to 70, uh, uh, to 7000 and below. Best time to use that because it's a region. 
And the worst thing that could happen to a spellcaster is when your MP is running out. So always keep that running every now and then. Oh boy, we're back. Me first. Okay, we're still good. Nothing drastic yet. The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well. I shall write up the relevant reports. These repairs must needs be effective, effected without delay. It seems I have another favor to ask of you, adventurer. Tell yourself straightway to the armor. Take yourself straightway to the armorer's guild in Limsalaminsa and explain the situation to Forge Master Hananza. Hananza. Hmm. I think I know who we're looking for. That's warm. To the armored ingot. So, one we're looking for is... Right here. So from the aft castle, we are going to <laughs> this direction. Oh, they also have the uh <laughs> Is that a black mage? Like classic FF1 black mage? Okay, here she is. Ananza. Nice. Those are nice looking goggles. Kind of reminds me of like what? Um... Welding masks, I think. I think it's the slits on those glasses or goggles, if you will. That's all. Okay, give me a moment. The furnace in the brewer's beacon need repairs. Fire guns, beard. I just sent someone out there out to tinker with it not that week past, not a week past. We have the bomb canvas had trapped in there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artisan within the lighthouse and pay special attention to reforging the casing of that furnace. Your work, your work is done here, adventurer. We did navigator guide you to on your journeys. Nice. I think we should get this move. There we go. Well, the lighthouse problem has done. I think we still have room for one more quest. One more quest. Here we go. On to the dry docks. Mm -hmm. Now, Forge Master Hananza, leader of the Naldik and Vimelis, Fielder, no, head of La Naldik and Vimelis, wants you to assist with the workload over at Morby Dry Dock. Oh. What say, uh, what say you to taking on some work for Naldik and Vimelis? Uh, we have a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run, run this missive over to Adburn. The head shipwright at the Morby Dry Docks. We forged most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of Lower Lanosia. That is also where you'll find the main offices of Naldik and Vimelis. The Morby Dry Docks is one of, Rim, of Limsa's Lumin, uh, one of Limsa Lumin's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned. 
and I'm and I'm sure you'll not regret. You'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's etherite. If you're if you have no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be best served making use of the chocobo porters. First floor of the mizzen mast, in case you were wondering. Should you go to make the trek on your uh, on your own two feet, leave the city through the, temp the tempest gate and follow the road south. Leave the navigator type guide your steps. Okay, I guess that's also a good sign to do some hunting too, and complete the slog. So we got the galago, got the buzzard, and the windspring. Get them there. Yeah, they're mostly south. Let's do it. The warp point. Actually, we can just bypass the warp point and just go out right here. Here we go. We're gonna go on foot. Do some hunting. Oh boy, it's raining. further and further down the bridge. Oh wait, there is a bridge. <laughs> Which means the uh, location is going to be nearby. Just that we need to cross this bridge. Standards here. Common folk. Must have got the patrol here as well. Let's see the jackal. Oh dear. Jackals, lightning sprites. Other wild jackal here. Ooh, we got the storm private here. And I think the fatigue is getting to me too. <laughs> I'm starting to feel sleepy. But I hope the story is pushing us on to see it through. Gotta make sure everybody enjoys and has a great time with this game. Even if they're not exactly playing it, at least watching it through my perspective. That would be a pleasure to do. Okay, we found it. Here's the etherite. Now we have a means to teleport to this area. That's a tune. Here we are. Okay, let's run over here. There's our delivery mogul. I just realized that the delivery moogles remind me of a certain thing. I think it was Final Fantasy IX. And their thing called the uh, Magnet. I think some of you might be familiar with that. Anyway, here's our man of the hour. At Brim. You have a missive for me from Forge Master Hananza? 
I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over, uh, ordered over a moon past. Let's see it then. Uh, here you go. Hmm. Last in botheration, another delay? I am well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this isn't sufferable. <sighs> my apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. But I have your name. Just hold him back. Hmm. Sigurd, is it? Well, Sigurd, this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. First new vessel to grace the docks since the Calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but, the, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. Victory is more than a simple worship. It is the symbol of Limsalomins's rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Thus we are, thus we are striving to complete her, com uh, complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going to, so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet, even with such unprecedented measures, there are ever enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Never enough. Should you choose to linger all at, linger at the docks for a time, there's no end of odd jobs for a hard-working adventurer. Be you fair warned, there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Good to know. Whew. Here we go with our next job. Without a doubt. Matt Rim is looking for a member of his crew and items he was supposed to deliver. Where in the seven hells is that man? Not once in twelve moons has he, uh, has he been late with the shipment. Now two whole turns of the sun without a single word. Whoa, he looks big. Yep, that, that's the thing about Rogadin. I think they're almost similar to the Galka from Eleven in the sense that they're huge. Like, they are broad and big compared to the Hume and the Hewer. Notably tall. But if you compare them to the Elizen, the Elizen are more thin and tall. While the Rogadin are big and broad. A shipwright of mine, a young man named uh, Ferrelsmid, recently left Candlekeep Key in to, retrieve some, uh, to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from, the Min uh, from Linsa Luminsa but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Halbroda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right or the supplies he was scheduled to collect. Man knows something, and I severely doubt he's telling me the total truth. As I cannot leave my post, I will. Ha I would have you. I would have to ask you to travel to Candlekeep Key in my stead and inform Halbroda that if he insists on playing these games, I will personally see that he's transferred to Turtleback Island, where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for eternity. Oh damn, that's not good. Candlekeep <laughs> must. <laughs> Must DND <the> now. <laughs> yes. Uh, the mention of Candlekeep now suddenly brings out the uh, the DND vibes. The desire to play DND. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The desire is so strong. Oh, we got that one ready. We'll need that chocobo porter. Where is he? Need to um, at least attune to the Choco Reporter. Where is he at? All the way up. Sorry. All the way up. Not sure if you can hear it in the background, but um, it's 
squishy cat decided to just shake itself let its bell ring that is one cute orange kitty if I must tell you okay we got the chocobo porter running so that's good let's just run head to our destination And this place is big. Okay, down here. From down here, we're going to the, the southwest. Over there. That's good. Okay, judging from the map, I think we have to go down this way. Considering it's a bay, it's a, it's the beach that we're headed to. Dang, what that? That's one big crab. Okay, this is the candle keep key. Yeah, this is candle keep. Here we are. Eh? Does that self-righteous dog at Grim doubt that I've never told him anything less than the truth? Well, yes. Oh yes, the music here is so good. Yep, they really did good here with the, with the music. Can't go wrong. Turtleback Island? He cannot do that. Can he? I swear on my poor Nana's grave, Navigator, rest her soul. I know not of this fiddle smid. Nor his precious supplies. Hills, we're here at the key. Uh, we here at the key had have, have had enough trouble with these past two suns. What with that sinking of that Lamington cargo ship off the assault strand. I haven't ha I haven't the time to take a proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders off in the grip. Oh boy, this guy. Let's compare. Yeah, let's get this. And we just got a class quest. Right in time. I think we should do that first. Class quest rewards. I think this is our cue to go back and get the class quest first. Teleport. Okay. No, 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 no. Not teleport. Let's warp back. Come back to the more of the dry dock later. And Angel is right about this. Silken is a genius. <laughs> Let's go down. The Arcanist killed. Oh no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. My cat has decided to join me on the table and is now blocking <laughs> my screen. <laughs> oh no. I think he wants some... He wants some head pads. I'm not sure if you can hear the rubbing. He's really looking for attention. Oh my goodness. Walking past the microphone. Really wants attention. Okay, here we go. Topaz teachings. Art acting guildmaster Thubergim, Thubergim, uh wishes to inform you of an important task. I wonder what this is. You seem tired, Sigurd. Are you sleeping properly? Wow. Really calling me out there. One's reasoning can suffer without enough rest and recuperation. Should you deem yourself fit for duty, pray make your way down to the practice floor. Or Seer Klaya has requested you 
to accompany to request you accompany her for another official inspection. There is, however, a requirement for your participation. A foreseer will explain the situation. I wonder what that is. Time to do some class quests and figure out what this is. Okay, here we go. Where is she? Ah, there she is. I was beginning to think I'd miscalculated, Sigurd. Thank you for coming. I will soon be boarding a trading vessel suspected of smuggling. All merchant ships that make use of Limsalimensis ports are subject to inspection by Milvan's gate assessors. It is a routine I perform daily. In the case of smugglers, however, there is a 75% probability of encountering resistance. Thus, I would appreciate your company during this assignment, it is now that we must discuss the requirement of which you, were, you uh, which you were informed. Though I have full confidence in your martial expertise, it is imperative that you first acquire the ability to summon Topaz Carbuncle. Such knowledge will be released to you contingent on your acceptance of this duty. Hello, oh, hello, Alex. <laughs> You just joined in the stream right now when I'm about to do a side quest. <laughs> and if in case you missed the rest of the whole thing, don't worry, there's always... There's always the VOD. Smuggling cookies! <laughs> Good point, Angel. They shouldn't be smuggling cookies. That's bad. Now customs will take it back. Very good. Arcane entity given form by the Topaz geometry will further expand your offensive capabilities. With such an ally at your command, even the harshest of enemies will falter before you. Indeed, we could not conduct these dangerous spot inspections without its support. Please return to Mistress Thubergeim and inform her of your participation. I will join you once I have completed some final adjustments to my tactical formulae. Okay. I'll see you later. Senpai. Vodgang! It's always a treat to see you live. Oh, oh man, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Alex. Yeah, it's a treat to have you along too. It's like, yeah, we're, your jokes are also going to make this fun. <laughs> your interactions are going to make this fun. Also, for those who are watching the VOD, glad to have you with me anyway. Because at least you also get to see the story and experience it with us. Asynchronous though, but still, worthy of you to join us. It's so great. It's so awesome to have you here. So don't forget to leave a comment while you're at it, and don't forget to also like the video. If in case you're watching it as a video, if you're watching the stream, like the stream too, while you're at it. Here we go. You have agreed to accompany the Foreseer? I shall gladly instruct you in the use of Topaz Carbuncle. Pray do not hesitate to employ this entity in combat should the inspection turn sour. Okay, now we have access to both Ruby and Topaz. I didn't know that Carbuncles have color coding. <laughs> oh look, we now have two gems. What's the mission? Why another cowl? Give me a different one. Here we go. The mercenaries Gesfir and Erstota are here to assist with the inspection. Both are old hands when it comes to escorting Klyha during her more dangerous duties. Well met, Sigurd. The spells are at your disposal. This won't be the first time we are expecting trouble, but as long as we follow the Foreseer's tactics and keep a clear head, we'll come through just fine. 
The Morning Star is preparing to dock at Aleport. You'll meet our first challenge, however, before we even board the vessel. It is almost a certainty that the merchant ship has hired a thug or two to accost us at the pier. To calculate the, the probability at 98%, the crew wish to avoid attacking us on deck, see, as that would all but trumpet their criminal intentions to the world at large. Now, once we do manage to clear the rails, we will face a deck crowded with armed sailors. For a small party such as ours, the most effective strategy is, uh, will be to incapacitate individual foes as swiftly as possible. Each opponent we down is one less weapon raised against us. It is imperative that we do not allow ourselves to become tangled in multiple drawn-out skirmishes lest we, lest we be overwhelmed. I call this Stratagem Hammerfall. Strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. Keep these words in mind, Sigurd. It is time we depart. Let us regroup before the main gates at Aleport. Okay. This is gonna be intense. Let's go to Aleport then. To get there. Go here. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Ah here. I see it. I have to go and talk to the fairy skeep. Skipper, send us over. This ferry is bound for Aleport. Are you riding with us? Yes, we are. Oh, here we are. Okay, so far so good. Let's see, do we have everything with us? Press gloves. Never updated. Oh, let's not forget the chocobo keep in. Okay, we now have a new porter stop. And also a new eighth ray. Quick second, I'm gonna try something. Ah, uh, yes. In case you're wondering, this is the Hall of the Novice. Greetings, I'm one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and forgers of a forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been, been, have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. Well, the mantle of adventure does not drape so awkwardly on your shoulders, from your shoulders as it once it did. Well, questing alone certainly brings its own rewards. You haven't truly adventured until you've delved into some darkened dungeon, stalwart comrades at your side. Ancient ruins, echoing caverns, and all manners of deadly places lie hidden across the realm, and these are best conquered in the company of trustworthy allies. And such advice holds true for many a formidable foe that would crush a solitary adventurer. How one fights in a party, however, is often drastically different from how one fights alone. Thus, we constructed the Hall of the Novice, where we endeavor to prepare you or those ex differences. Here within these walls, we offer burgeoning heroes a bevy of training exercises. Step into the flames, my friend. Forge the skills you shall need for the morrow. 
And here we go. We just gained access to Hall of the Novice. So basically what this does is it gives you a, a sort of tutorial on how to play your character. Uh, in this case, how to play the job that you're chosen for your character. Now, each character, of course, has different roles. You have tank, healer, and DPS. And you will notice this um, possibly from the color of your icon. And also you would notice it from the set of abilities that you have. You'll find out more when you test this out. But just keep in mind, whichever you learn in Hall of the Novice, aside from the advice that it provides, and of course the gear that it provides later on, there's also some updated portions about this. And always be on a learning posture whenever possible. <clears throat> That said, there might be some techniques or some strategies that are used by other players in case you party up with others that you might end up using more or less. Um, so keep in mind of what their advice is. And if in case you're not sure of what that is, you might also want to check out uh, tutorial videos on how to tank, how to heal, how to be a DPS. Sometimes there are some funny videos more than others. I'm looking at Joe Cat's. Um, crap guide to Final Fantasy but there are some good ones too like um, videos posted by really good guide makers Wes Calber comes to mind in this one he's a he's a he's a mentor from what I recall anyway but here is some advice that could be useful when you're t starting out as a, uh, a player I'll, 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 I'll give my advice also on how to do this so just to make this very useful for all of you too. And here we go. First part. We actually go into an instance. Oh, wait a second. This sounds familiar. Apparently, what we're learning here is avoiding AOEs or attack of or attack or area of effect attacks. Some of the attacks here would give some telegraphed information. You would notice this when you see the thing underground. <clears throat> and what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to dodge. Oh, and for those who are familiar with this, this is actually Final Fantasy II battle theme. Like a remix version of it. Back. So do you see that thing on the ground? That's the one you're supposed to dodge. As much as possible, you have to dodge away from them. And in some cases, you have to time it in a way that you have to make sure it doesn't hit you and you're not supposed to be in it while the cast bar is running. <clears throat> you know it's too late when the cast bar disappears. So keep that in mind. Okay, this is nice. Okay, here's the twist. Now to conquer this one, make sure to always um, keep your stick or keep your arrow key or whichever you're using for movement held as much as possible towards one direction. This will help you get out of that kind of a uh, movement problem. <clears throat> you're not so you're, you don't need to wait for the timer to run out. You just move. So yeah, it's a nice observation on the change of pace with the music. Good, good eye, good ear there, uh, Angel. Actually, this is one of my favorite ones. I mentioned there's only the only way to play Final Fantasy II reasonably now is the Pixel Remaster. Turn on the XP boost. I agree. <laughs> and also, that theme is actually nice, especially with how they did it in 14. 
Very cute. Nicely done. Learning to avoid the, obvi the obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't survive the profession. <laughs> Poor Black Mage. More explanation on that later, but yeah. <laughs> and speaking of survival, perfecting each of my lessons will earn you a piece of armor to aid you in your chosen role. Should you feel so inclined, repeat the same lesson with the other masters that they may reward you with equipment tailored towards their fields of expertise. Here's the price for completing the exercise, but remember, the real prize is the lessons you learned. So yeah, you actually get snazzy outfits from this thing. Yeah, cut out the grinding to make it more appealing for modern audiences. More like speed up the grinding, when you think about it, because that, some of those games don't really honor your time. They're too intensive in, uh, in this case. So you might want to speed up the process in some way or another. So I think that's a good thing that Pixel Remastered added those uh, bonuses. Okay, we still have a few more to do. Uh, bear with me here. I'm going to try to get through this because it's going to give us equipment. Really good equipment. Okay, here we go. So, for a DPS, uh, this will teach you how to play as a DPS. There are some that will teach you also how to be a healer and others that teaches you how to be a tank. For this one, this is teaching you to... Uh, how to coordinate your attacks. Um, next time when I get the chance, I will show you also how to do the healer and the and the uh, tank versions of this. Just for completion purposes. But at most, we don't really need to. But it helps getting all the advice you can get. Anyway, what we're doing here is we're going to coordinate our attacks. We're going to basically focus fire on the target. Because basically the DPS's job is to whittle down the target and kill. Regardless of which kind of DPS you're using. Or so if you're a magical DPS. Watch. Attack the same foe as your ally and win the battle. There we go. In. Now there's a note here about enemy facing. Uh, that's actually for positionals, which is important for melee characters. Specifically the melee DPS characters. So there are going to be some attacks that you, where uh, the damage increases when you attack from the side compared to when you attack from the back. Ah yes, Ruby for the finish. Nice. Okay, time to get the reward. Did you mark did you mark the sturdiness of your ally taking the enemy's hits? Coordinate efforts with a heavily armored defender will uh, with a heavily armored defender will allow you to fight to your fullest. Okay, now we got the boots. Another one. But I wonder what the lesson is this time. Okay, let's see what we're doing this time. Hmm. Okay, so we're fighting multiple enemies. And the key here is basically coordinate the assault. It's the focus target thing. Yep. Looks like that's what we're up against. Here we go. Let's commence. Start with the staff waiver. Which 
strike the wrong foe five times and you. Okay, I got it. This is the first target that we have to wreck. Okay, one down. And then once you're done, go for the fist fight. Alright. Which means it's this one. Last one. Topaz, go! Ooh. Nice. So now they're at standing, don't lose focus. Ruby, go! Yeah, it's a pretty brutal training exercise. Yeah, actually is. That concludes the exercise. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Consideration, a coordination is the key to conquering foes swiftly and safely. Work well with your allies, and the efficacy of your armor needed not tested. Here's your prize for completing the exercise, but remember, the real prize is the lesson you've learned. Okay, it's more of cash and XP. Okay, before I continue the next one, let me just get some water. I'm beginning to feel parched. I'll be right back. Just uh, set things a few bit before we resume. Give me a second. Okay, we're right right here. Here we go. All right, we're back. Let's get to wrecking that. More time. We're gonna do one more quest. All right. Now this time we are going to avoid targets. Avoiding engaged targets. I wonder what this is. So now, aside from evading attacks, I wonder what we're doing. Okay, some footwork. Hmm, I wonder how this is gonna work.
let's commence and figure out how this works. Okay, so we're basically focus firing on the axe wielder, but we have to keep dodging as well. Ah, interesting. We have to watch out for AoE attacks like that. Okay, he's about to do another thing. Oh no, watch out! Sending in this boy. It's both of them now. Oh no 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 no! Not today! Not today! Arby, go! Boom! All done! So basically this one is more of like, keep attacking while dodging. So basically uh, a sort of iteration of the first training exercise. Nice! Breaking off attacks to save your skin is always the wise, uh, wisest course. Though it, uh, it may sometimes be a frustrating dance, it is better to dodge than be sprawled in the dust. Okay. Ooh! We're getting some pants too. More brutal exercises. Oh, we're not yet done. There's more. There's more. Okay. Reinforcements. Oh, we're wrecking some reinforcements. This is good. Okay, so this time we're going to target the Brutal's exercises are sure fun. <laughs> yep, Zach, they are. In reality, those exercises will actually give you equipment. Also worth learning the lessons that they teach you here. Although there's going to be some advanced ones that will pop up later, but it's more of like you'll learn this from other players, honestly. Okay, here we go. Keep an eye for reinforcements. Blasting time. Okay, wait. We're getting another. Blast. Need to blast him. Nope. Or rather. Okay, she's down. the wrong button. Oops. Let's get your attention first. Yep. Nope. Oh. Now we'll have to see this battle to the end. Here we go! Ooh, thanks for the cure. And that's all she wrote. We love training arcs. <laughs> yes, we do. There's a beauty to seeing a training arc, you know? Okay. A fine performance. A party is doomed without a, a source of restoration. When reinforcements threaten your healer, it's time to spring into action. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Interact with the battlefield. Wonder what this is. I'm Kirby. Alright, so what are we doing this time? So, manipulating the battlefield. 
Without any support or force from the rear gate, new foes will continue to flood whilst this portal remains open. Just operate the lever that closes the gate or your party will be overwhelmed. Work with your allies to defeat the enemy and then we can move on to the next training exercise. Say the word when you're ready. Let's do it. Engage the enemy but be wary of the game. Last. Uh oh, here they come. Thomaton. Go. Catch it to section. Your topaz, finish it up. Now to close the lever. And blast them off. Nice. Okay. Rubies up. Drain. Maybe a little bit faster. Yo. The word has been said. <laughs> to neutralize an enemy's advantage or be prepared to suffer through a difficult fight. Here's your prize for compliment, uh, completing the exercise, but remember, your prize is the lesson you learn. Okay, I think it's time to show what I've been doing. Observe. This is what we look like currently. Watch as he goes from this do this. Voila. How does that look? Hmm? Snazzy new outfit. Right there. Now, to complete this, a final exercise. Here for the final exercise. And as a culmination of your training, all the all the skills you've acquired will be put to the test. Put your lessons into practice, and you'll do just fine. See the word when you are ready to begin. <laughs> level one to level fifty, GG. <laughs> It'd be funny if this is gonna be the glam I'll be using for the whole a Realm Reborn. Like, he hasn't changed his clothes, he's gonna stay with that. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Okay, let's go. Pay attention to the enemies facing and stay out of harm's way. Okay. Just gonna blast them with uh, Ruin and Fester. More ruin. We go. Oh snap! I gotta get this guy. to kill the others. Use a uh, fireball 
Blasting Max. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so let's go. Okay, as you would notice, Topaz is actually fast in terms of uh, casting time compared to Ruby. The main reason for this is that Topaz is kind of designed to act like a, as a uh, sort of um, phase wherein you use your movement to take advantage of it. It's like the instant casts are working to your favor. Like, it's the middle ground compared to, if, uh, to um, Ruby's heavy damage setup. <laughs> 24 hour stream, let's do it. Or not yet, not yet. <laughs> I don't think we'll get there yet. <laughs> I guess I'll plan that once the busy parts of my uh, behind the scenes stuff is done. So, we might get to that. No, 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 I gotta get away from that. Oh, Topaz. There he is. Done. Choosing one outfit and sticking it for the entire series. Well, we're not going to go that far. We're going to be more of like sticking to this outfit. But by the next arc, uh, or specifically by the next expansion, we have a different outfit. Proving yourself a novice no longer. Pray, accept this prize to commemorate your achievement. Ooh, this is why we've been going for this. The purpose of this ring is it helps you level up your classes and you basically earn XP by 30% when your level is 30 and below. After that, you still get bonuses from this. So, best to keep it and get this particular thing. And we're leveled up to 16. Now we got the level sync system. Uh, the explanation for that is that when you use the level sync system, it basically syncs high level characters to <clears throat> other low level characters. Keeps everything equal. All right, now let's do the actual thing now. Actual mission. And I think after this quest, I might have to turn in for the night. It's already 2 a.m. <laughs> I think I gotta do something after this. Let us be about our task, Sigurd. Pray inform the steersman at the pier that we are ready to conduct our inspection. Should violence be offered, you are to execute Stratagem Hammerfall. Don't forget, your tactics are both your shield and your weapon. Looks like you'll be waking up by noon. Maybe. Or I might end up taking a nap for a bit after a good while. If in case I need to wake up early, I may have to take a nap and then wake up whenever needed and then do some other things after that. Here are the folks from Melvin's Gate. Ah, hells. I knew there'd be trouble. Uh-oh. Here we go. Blast them. Here, buddy. Bonk. I gotta gotta love how Topaz is like. Here. Stop. 
talag mo <laughs> gives you an, gives you an earth spike while um, Ruby basically swings its uh, flaming tail at you well then I'm certainly glad to see you can handle yourself you'll find the landing boat just down here at the end of this ramp I have no part of what comes next though Funny he mentioned that. And there it is. Solo fight. Once more. And this is synced for level 19. If in case you're ma if in case you're above that level, it's gonna downgrade. It's gonna down sync you to that level. Here we go. Definitely handled Sigurd. Once again, I'm reminded of our guildmaster. Thanks to your efficient response, we should be able to commence this inspection earlier than I had calculated. We shall board the merchant vessel out in the bay. Late night stream for the win! <laughs> yep, that's right, Elk. But I guess I have to do some uh, important duties in the bike come morning. So, <laughs> Good luck to me. Erstata, if you would take the rudder, the morning star awaits. And onto the boat we go. Oh boy, here it is. We're boarding the ship. There it is. Hmm. Okay, we're about to head there. This is their welcoming party at the pier field at Terras, I expect, with a probability of 85% that our arrival will incite further belligerence. Evening boating sure is nice. Yep. It is, Zach. Just be careful not to fall off the water. <laughs> fall off the boat and uh, sink into the water. It's too cold. Our objective, however, is not to trade blows, but to gain access to the hold. It may behoove us to employ stratagem hardhead. What's this other tactic now? The aim of our opponents is to buy time so that, this, so that the suspect goods may be tossed into the ocean. Not intend to give them that time. We will bull our way th uh, towards the cargo hold as quickly as we can. It is a tactic fraught with risk, but one that your presence makes possible. Shall we begin? Aboard the boat. Oh, here it is. Hmm. Now, Forseer Kleia. By the authority of Melvin's Gate, I request that you surrender your goods for assessment. Well now, your timing could be worse, lass. The old door's all rusted up, you see. Bloody thing won't open. You'll have to come back another day after we've fixed the hinges. I will see that cargo now. Any vessel entering a port of Limsa is bound by law to submit to routine, in routine inspection. Oh, they're going to resist. Law, is it? Lads, I reckon it's time our guests had themselves a little accident. Pitch him over the side.
Oh, we're fighting during sunrise, are we? Okay, let's do that. Blasting time. Starting with you. Okay, watch. Okay, here we go. Bam. Okay, we got him. Okay, someone's healing them, I'm pretty sure. Question is who? Kirby. Smack him. Boom. Oh, that's a far one. Not today, boy. Can't touch this. Blast that one. Blast him some more. Okay, that should cover everyone. Nice. Sunrise, sight sunrise fighting sure is nice. Yep, it is, Zach. It is. I leave for sandwiches. Came back to CC battles. Yep, that's actually what's happening here. Oh, yeah, you just witnessed something intense, uh, Angel. <laughs> Masterful display, Sigurd. Now we can gain access to their cargo. Wonder what's in it. Oof! Ow! Wait, something's off. What have we here then? It's one of the bitch admiral's lapdogs scampering about my ship. Uh oh. You're just like your mistress. Always sticking your nose where it ain't invited. No. Can't be. Uh oh. Ha. Huh. Recognize me pretty face, did you? You were, you were caught, exiled. Horse here, are you hurt? Can you stand? Stay back. You stay away from me. Oh no, that's not good. Horse here, please calm down. What are your orders? I've had enough of your whimpering. And I've certainly had enough of these bloody books. It's clear he ain't learning anything from them. Oh no. This is a... I reckon it's time you get a different kind of lesson. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. Playa! Nofika preserve us. She's fainted. We must have... We must withdraw. Sigurd, quickly. Back to the boat. We'll carry the foreseer. Aye, that's right. You sink your... You slink your back to the bestress, you worthless curs. <laughs> 
So, what just happened there is rather unfortunate. It seems our foreseer may have encountered something traumatic. Whatever that traumatic thing is, we might find out later. I'm not sure what, though. Because there's no way someone like her would panic in such a manner. That's, that's really crazy. There's a certain reason why she would panic that way. Need to know what that is. We'll take care of Clia. You best return to the Arcanist Guild and report to Mr. Stubbergine. That will do. Darkness Guild. Into... Her office. It's good to see you well, Sigurd. Geisferin sent word ahead of your travails. An unfortunate turn of events, but... Considering the infamous Blackheart you faced, you might have fared much worse. Have you heard of the pirate Dosmaga? He was exiled from Limsa Laminsa some years ago, but it appears he has uh, chosen to defy the Admiral's orders. And once more he dares lay a hand on First Seer Klyha. The poor lass must have been terrified. If I had known Dosmaga was aboard the ship, I would have never I would have assigned her at I would never assign that duty man that's rough the assessor may require some time to recover for Klaia that man is night is a nightmare made flesh though her physical wounds will soon mend there is a little we can do to salve the hurt to her mind you're concerned angry mayhap Harness that energy and channel it to your training. I predict we shall we shall be needing your skills again for long. Oh boy. Sounds like an intense one. To the dry dock real quick. See if we could uh, finish something here before we go. I'll be ending in a bit. But where's that spot? Go down there. Down to candle keep. Finish that one neatly. Yes, we did. Um, right now, we're gonna see if we could like uh, sneak in this one more quest uh, and push the story. Or we'll have to wait for the next stream to finish this. So we'll see. Because it's already 2:16 in the morning. story's good. The game is really making me just keep going. It's really nice. Am I competing with Elk in having the longest stream? Not really. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> That'd be his title. <laughs> okay, here we are. Riding the shipwreck. Abroda had a has a suggestion for the kind of venture who came bearing for uh, bearing foreman Al uh, at Brim's message. And I wonder what it is. Now, the way I see it, if you have time by to be standing here questioning my character, then you most certainly have the time to get that arse of yours down to the salt strand and help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows? 
You may just run across this fierce mill everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. Okay, so, quick update. We have a missing foreman of sorts. We need to check if he's alive. And to find out if he is. Let's do some checking. Well, actually he is. But why is he here? Let's ask. Hi. I'm Ferris Mild. They say the foreman's wandering on me whereabouts. I thought you might be. You must know, I cannot show me face at the dry docks until I've righted the terrible wrong I've caused. Two nights past, I've made the trip from the dry docks to Candlekeep Key, just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough. The captain of the cargo ship of the cargo ship was wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs, so I paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her. By the time we were halfway twixt a shore and ship, the swells have risen uh, to high on ten yelms. Nigh to nigh on ten yards. Oh man, that's ten yards. Oh shoot, that is high. Wasn't long after the waves had hold of us. Try as we might to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight, and we was flung headlong into the Lovinson Galley. While I woke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was co I was to collect lay strewn across the salt strand. I made every f effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with kikern. I ain't a one. I ain't a one with a sword. Now you see what it is. I cannot return to the dry docks. Oh shit! That's not good. Hmm. Guess we got some kickern to kill. Well, at least to clear up there. Oh! So much for stealth. It's a kickern, it's not kickyam. Please don't be hungry. <laughs> You're making me feel hungry the moment you mention kickyam. Trying to avoid that. <laughs> There's some water. Suddenly that desire to get some dim sum, but not today. I'm on a strict regimen right now. That night I was tossed into the sea like some rag, uh, some doll of rags, and if it, were, it weren't long enough before the world around me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hills. I awoke to find myself washed ashore. Here I've been, a 
ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage my master's cargo. Let's give you the cargo, shall we? Here you go. I was thinking of Kikyo. <laughs> yes, Angel, it was that. I figured you would say that. <laughs> now I'm hungry. But not tonight. I'm gonna power this tonight and I'm gonna sleep it out. Missing parts. I don't know how to I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away. But first, I must stop by the quay so I might pay, uh, pay my respects to the window, or to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coin. Could you tell Art Brim, uh, Art Brim I'll be back at the docks by nightfall? Many thanks, adventurer. I'll not forget this kindness. Yay. Safe and sound. Good to know. He hasn't been uh, turned into Kikiam by the Kikern. It's a good thing. <laughs> Oof. That's a good sign. That's fortunate. Alright. Here we are. Oh, getting back into um, the dry docks after that crazy venture off of me. I find it interesting that it's raining too. I think we could all use a good bit of rain, especially the over there. In case you're in the areas with the heat wave, I think you all deserve rain. For me over here, it's weird because you always get either rain or more like cloudy and you're not even sure if it's gonna rain. And then you get some moments when it, there's sunny, which is good. It's always nice when it's sunny. As long as it doesn't really give you that heat wave. And again, it's spring. Turning summer at some point. Okay, we are. I'm relieved to hear that both Ferris Mild, the Ferris Mild, and the supplier and the supplies are unharmed. Though it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for the witch, it was obviously obviously not out of his hands. You see, <clears throat> there was no storm that day. The seas here adjacent the dry docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candlekeep Key was one, was of a less natural sort, a sort which the Sahagin have been known to conjure. Oh no, that's the problem. It's actually Sahagin caused. And we're up for the next quest. Although for tonight, I think this is where we will conclude stream. I think we'll stop at this point. Let me just uh, switch this over. Give me a moment. Let's switch over to the uh, this other thing real quick here, shall we? One moment. Well, that was a fun stream. <laughs> Ooh, I never thought we would get that far. <laughs> we tried to power through a lot in this uh, stream right now. We went from one quest to another quest to another quest. And oh my goodness, it, it just kept going. <laughs> it just kept going. It was fun. Gotta love that. Ooh, gotta love your company too, everybody. Love your company. You're giving me this wonderful energy to keep going and going and going and going. I don't want to stop, but the night is already eating up and it's already consuming the sands of time as we know it. That was a wonderful moment. Wonderful moment as it is. But right now, I think it's time my call the night. Time for me to um, head over to another day and welcome it all the same. 
But um, just to tell you know, let you know where I, where are we right now in the story? I think we're getting closer to the point when we get introduced to actually entering our first dungeon. We'll have to wait for when it happens. Uh, we're getting close though. We're getting there. Um, almost there. If I remember how the sequence of events went, I think that's where we're about to enter. So, just giving you a heads up, we're almost there. Almost there. Anyway, what to look forward for this week and for the upcoming weeks, basically next week and, you know, uh, the other streams. Well, for our friends like uh, Elk and I think Kek, there might be planning more streams coming up. Uh, more FF7 Rebirth, of course, for Elk, and I think maybe more Sea of Stars. So keep an eye out on that. I think you should see his schedule on his channel. You'll see what else is coming up. For Kek, we're still waiting for him. <laughs> He's still prepping a few things behind the scenes, I think. Uh, I might have to check, find out what it is. But hopefully, we find out what else is coming up. And we'll be in for a surprise. Might be a collab stream or, collab stream or whatever. As for me, I'm still looking into the possibility of streaming Final Fantasy XIV a little more and covering it for more than one um, for more than one day. So I think I'm thinking of hopefully getting this for another day, getting more days to when we can play more of this and enjoy the story while I still have the sub. <laughs> but if it's not possible. Always look forward to Fridays because that's my usual time of streaming and it's called always close to the weekend. And if in case we're not playing Final Fantasy XIV on that day, we'll be playing other games like Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I'll, I'll give you a layout of uh, what I'm looking forward to with the games that I have. Uh, backlog, I'm looking at Curse of the Moon. We're going to finish the endings. I think I'm looking at two or three more endings, I think. Let's see if we can do back to back and uh, get all of those playthroughs done in the most optimal time. And then after that, we might go and do Curse of the Moon 2 right, away, right ahead. And that one, we already know that it's going to run uh, fast enough. I think it's going to run like possibly one playthrough per or one playthrough uh, part per stream. I think if my planning is correct, but. That's what's that's what's coming up next. And after Curse of the Moon, what's next? I'm gonna check my backlog on that one and see what else we have. I might try something I haven't done before, or something we have already done, or we'll try to get more Final Fantasy XIV in there <laughs> whenever possible. If we can't, maybe there might be some pixel remasters I can pick up, and hopefully, all of us will be in it too. All right. So that's what I got on the docket. That's what I got right now in flat in mind. Um, keep an eye out on my um, my channel. Uh, keep an eye out for my community post because I'm going to be pulling up some schedules there too, like what to look forward to. And if in case there's a chance that I'll be having a double stream, like a uh, like more than one stream in one week, you'll know. You'll be the first to know. Oh, don't forget to join us on our Discord. We got a Discord server where we all hang out there. Not just myself, but also Elk, Kek, and everybody else. And we might meet some friends too along the way. You can meet us there. You can interact with us there. Joke with us there. Meme about it a lot. You know, the usual. <laughs> and have some wonderful discussions. And in the case that we might be fortunate, we might be also running tables of RPG soon. I'm actually in the middle of planning that. And I might be able to run something for you guys. Aside from elk DMing, I'll also try my hand at it too. I'm thinking of trying other systems aside from D&D. Uh, one of them might be Daggerheart or possibly 13th Age or Fabula Ultima. We'll find out soon. I'll let you know. When it happens, it'll happen. So watch out for that. It's going to be something we're going to be trying. Once again, thank you very much for joining me tonight, today, or whichever time you're in. This is my... I'm here in this demi-plane in this corner of the internet. I'll be seeing you again soon. Hopefully, back in the realm of Eorzea, or maybe somewhere else. This is your clockwork wizard, Sigurd Chronosect. And I'm happy to have you here with me. I'm looking forward to our next foray, our next adventure. Till then. Light of the crystal go with you. 
I'll see you again. Au revoir.